You are listening to Let's Talk by Broke Boys. Yo guys, so I'm interrupting this podcast really quickly to bring you two bits of really important information. This year on the 28th of June, we'll be re-hosting our famous show, Broke Boys at the Farm. If you're interested in finding out more about the show, make sure you stay tuned on social media or head over to our Facebook event, Broke Boys at the Farm 4, to keep up to date with when tickets will be released and you can grab yours. Secondly, if you're interested in getting yourself some Broke Boys or Broke Girl merchandise, head over to the website right now, brokeboysuk.co.uk, where you can find stickers, hoodies, t shirts, jumpers, jackets, and other merch to keep you part of the squad. Other than that, guys, I won't interrupt anymore. Back to the podcast. Right, let's go. Right, so, guys, welcome to uh, number four. I had to check the little uh, <laughs> podcast. Uh, uh, the little. Uh, what the fuck are they called? Um, uh, Polaroids. Polaroids. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I had to check the Polaroids so I'm sure which one we was on. Uh, uh, episode four of Let's Talk. Uh, today's guest. I'm, mate, I'm going to let you introduce yourself because you've got two names <laughs> and uh, I think it's only right that you kind of, we'll, we'll get into explaining it, but uh, name, explain yourself, what you do, who you are, etc. Go from there. Okay, cool. So uh, my name is actually Jordan Kergray, yeah. but everyone knows me as J. Bass um, and I basically take pictures and make videos. <laughs> <laughs> Done. That, <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> um, no, so we, uh, we just went to get into this. Um, we'll get into how I met you and stuff like that in a minute, but yeah, like... Cool. Um, everybody knows you as as j bass j dot bass yeah so i'm under the impression for like ages when i first met you that it was j like j, j's the name right so i'm just <laughs> like yes yeah, j j and then i think like your brother turned around and was like, oh yeah jordan i was like what the fuck like since <laughs> i think you when? phoned me i think you literally phoned me and was like jordan <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> what the hell um yeah so explain that why how so, what so long story short so uh, obviously, my name is Jordan, and uh, I used to work at Specsavers. Yeah. So, I I mean, if you've never seen Gossip Girl, the TV show, a bit, <laughs> which a, I have, which a I bit of a chick flick, <laughs> yeah. um, there's a guy on there called Chuck Bass. And yeah. when I worked at Specsavers, everyone just used to call me, oh, Chuck yeah, Bass, yeah. Chuck Bass. And then, as a bit of a joke, I changed my Instagram name to J. Bass. Yeah. And then, I think, the f- I think the first show I ever went to, I can't remember what it was, I think it might have been Low Collective. And I literally just started taking pictures, uploaded them on Instagram, Facebook, and then I was like, oh, yeah. Jay Bass will do. I, everyone, everyone called me <laughs> Jay Bass. And it just everyone just thought that that was my name is Jay Bass. And then it got to the point where I was uploading to Facebook originally yeah. and then on Instagram, yeah. but no one could find the pictures on Facebook because yeah. my name was Jordan. So I had to change my name on Facebook to Jay Bass. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, because obviously, so I got your Facebook and stuff and I, like, I looked at it then and I was like, what like I think I think that was when I first found out, and I looked at it. And like, obviously, your brother said it, and I was like, nah, like nah, that's not right. Because obviously, it's, so if you always kind of bit, like nicknamed Jay, has that always been a no, thing? No, literally, like the past five, six years. So, lit- so you're kind of like still most probably getting used to people shouting Jay. Like I, I would have yeah. shit. Like do you know what I mean? I think like the the odd thing is my mum and dad call me Joe. Like, so no one actually calls me Jordan. Oh, mate, <laughs> this is just, what, what is going on? So when I hear a name, I'm just like, yeah, what? Anything <laughs> that begins with J, yeah, and the basically. letter J this time. It's crazy. Because obviously at first, so I'm just, a sh- I was under the impression like J was like Jason. Like, do you know I mean, anything that's like J, like, you know, like, like that, Jamie. That, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that sort of, fuck it. And it's like Jordan. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> so why Joe? Like, just because um, J-O for Jordan. I think it was like my, my little, little brother, um, you couldn't say Jordan properly and call me Georgian or something like yeah, that. And yeah, I think yeah. they just sort of called me Joe from there on in. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a, an abundance most, of names. Most like a confusing <laughs> thing. Right, so let's go through this. So um, photographer, videographer, um, obviously I initially found you for, well, I say found you. Uh, we've effectively like, well, you've known Broke Boys for years. Yeah, man. You've been obviously buying from Broke Boys, etc. Um, but the first time I really kind of spoke to you properly was just before Fitted, right? Is that correct? Yes. Because obviously yeah. when, you come and, when you come and shop for us, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember that. my first, well, oh no, or was it was it Fitted or was it, it was actually a uh, second year of Broke Boys at the farm? What came first? Uh, I can't remember. It must have been Broke Boys at the farm, surely. Yeah, yeah, because I, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah, because we did Broke Boys at the farm and then I came with you to fit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you shot photos for us at Broke Boys at the farm. Yeah. Um, number one or two? I think it was one. It's got to be one, isn't it? Yeah, it was one. Yeah. Madness, man. Yeah, that was crazy. This is like going back. Okay, so shot photos for it. Yeah, it has to be one. Because I'm thinking yeah. of where you parked and the, the, the where the setup was. You was in that small field, wasn't you? Yeah, in the bit with all the trade stands. Yeah. 
yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And that, that yeah and that that was literally Crazy. it was, it was just the box. first field yeah. wasn't it yeah Crazy. Yeah, that's mad. Okay. Um, oh no, no, no. Was oh, it second? Oh mate, I'm I'm lost. No, I think it was second. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Because you know that skinny field. Yeah. So when you pull in on the left hand side, yeah. that's the one that you went into. Yeah, that was, was trade that stands. Was, that was only yeah, that was only that. No, and that was the second one. It was used to be smaller one. than that. Really? Because like, obviously you know what? like when so the tr- the show field was like the bigger one. All the cars were parked in the bigger field on the right hand side. Yeah. You were parked on the left. Yeah. The year before it was the other way around. My show field was that little skinny one. And really? my trade field was in the big one, but I had called it off 50 by 50 metres, which is fuck all when you think about it. Yeah. 50 by 50 metres square. And I had like a little corner plot right down where the gate is so that people could walk from that skinny one over into the into the other one, man. Oh, that's mad. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go. Okay. So uh, I, obviously I called upon you for photography, but you had videography under your... Did you, was you shooting video by this point? Yeah, I was all, I was, all, I was actually shooting videos before I was taking pictures. Oh, yeah, see, that's how yeah. you always define kind of... Um, who, if they're a videographer or a photographer, which one... Not what they were shooting first, but... Do you know what I mean? I think you get, you get into one more so than the other, the other and then you yeah. end up sort of doing both because you kind of have that eye for it anyway. Like you that fucking have to as well. It's yeah. like, the camera's there, take a photo of me quickly, but you're shooting... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so I called upon you for photos, but videos was a thing as well. And I think, obviously, we really got to know each other um, because of Fitted. Yeah. So I effectively, like, freelance, free hired you. Like, literally, yeah. freelance. <laughs> oh, that's so pink. I sound like a cheap bastard. Yeah, no. So I hit you up and said, um, would you be willing to, and this is going to sound really um, obnoxious now I think about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I said... Um, I, I this is before, I tried vlogging. Um, I got annoyed with it. Turned around to you and said, "Would you follow us around with a camera instead? That way, I've because I was I'd get there, work, and then be like, I've vlogged nothing, and all of a sudden <laughs> you've got like a whole day ruined. Yeah, because um, you haven't done it. So I was like, Yo, would you do that? So obviously got to know you because of that. Um, yeah. Because we were literally together like the whole fucking day. I think I've still yeah. got all of that footage, mate. Yeah. I, I, I don't, did I ever release it? I yeah, you did. Yeah, you did release it. Yeah, cool. there was bits of. Um... You guys trying on the the blazers, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah, we got kicked the, out. Didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> everywhere we went. Yeah, so we went into uh, what was it, Top Man? Yeah, wasn't it? Me and Mike are going around acting like idiots, trying on like every fucking blazer going, and then <laughs> some woman comes over. She's like, "You're not allowed to film in here," and I was just like, "Oh my god, like slow <laughs> down." Um, yeah. So yeah, originally hired you for, like hired you for that, um, which was like the point of like we really kind of started to know each other yeah. i think the reason that obviously i've got you on the podcast mate is because i need someone to like represent photographers videographers etc so far i've had uh, a youtuber a business owner another business owner effectively uh, but print shop for clothes and that was yeah. covering like the fashion side because i love all my fashion stuff obviously the broke boys clothing and then like now you're here for um yeah basically like representing a whole group of people mate. yeah because yeah. like, then you think about it, the fucking um car scene is full of to- everyone yeah, photographer everyone so when did you start shooting video when did i start shooting video and what was you shooting specifically um video video i'm trying to think so i think for me what really got me doing it as such was because obviously i'm in the band yeah i make all of our videos for that yeah so that was always if I do it, I ain't got to pay someone yeah. else to do it, yeah, yeah, if that yeah. makes sense. So I started doing that, and then obviously I just started getting more involved. I started getting into cars, yeah. and then just eventually became a car thing, really. Just started doing cars, but I film everything. I think a lot of people always think, oh, I just film cars. Like That's just the small yeah. part that you see through yeah. social media. <laughs> you... So... How did you get into cars? Because I think that's the question I've asked absolutely everyone so far. Because obviously everyone that I've had on has been really car related. So um, with a twist. I remember having, I used to buzz around in a uh, five door Ford Focus. Nice. And uh, I don't think I'd washed it. In what about... what shape one? I don't know marks, oh, but I don't know. It's like the bubble one. Not the not the it's, old. It's uh, not the. Is it? It's it was two thousand and five tic- plate. So. so it's not. Is it the Tic Tac when they did the Tic Tac green, the Tic Tac orange? Those was it that? Yeah, that model? it's okay. one of those. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. And it was like the LE edition, so it had nothing yeah, on it, yeah. literally nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, apart from a green, like a lime green Ford badge front and rear. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bin it <laughs> <laughs> literally right so uh, I uh, yeah I buzzed around in that and uh, 
I can't remember what happened, but I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to get a nice car, like a new car. Yeah. And I went and bought my Scirocco. Yeah. And I remember... This is, obviously, this is what I know you with. Yeah, so, so I got that Scirocco. I literally traded my Ford Focus in for £400 <laughs> <laughs> and just walked was out it, of the Scirocco. Was it in a good condition or was it absolutely battered? By oh, point? the gearbox was going. Sure. Like, I just got rid of it. It's like chocolate <laughs> gearbox, man. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I got the Scirocco and I remember I got in my car and I was just like, where can I go? mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> so i went to mcdonald's um my brother and that was there and he just introduced me to a few people and yeah. then used to i can't i cannot remember the first show i went to was your brother into was your brother into cars but, before you yeah, was always into cars yeah. oh it's just a yeah, thing he, he, was, you, he was just always into them you got like, family or anything that are into it or was it just literally he ended up getting down, no, going down that route? Like, that's yeah that's pretty much it yeah, like, dad's yeah. always worked on cars and stuff yeah. like that and mechanic and that but yeah it was mostly him <laughs> he'd just be out with yeah. people, oh, we're doing this in the cars, doing this in the cars. Yeah. So I didn't really care about my car at the yeah. time and then got the Scirocco, so went out yeah. and just started meeting people. And then as you do, you sort of go here, oh, there's a meet on here, go there, go here, go there. And then that was it, really. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Becomes a part of you then, doesn't it? Because obviously, yeah, 100%. Because obviously when you came to, um, where was it, the farm? You were driving the Scirocco. Yeah. Um, and hang on, I think I remember because obviously I put you in the show field because I was like, right, you're my photographer, like yeah. fucking pull in. Like, car was decent to be fair, like, I liked it. And one, did, did you say like I think you said to someone like I'm in, the, I'm in the other field, and they were like, what the fuck, like or something like that. I, I swear you yeah, told so me. That. There's a thing where um, <clears throat> so it it first started off where I um I, I went to, my Scirocco just wouldn't go low. Like without yeah. air ride, you cannot get a Scirocco low. Like yeah, yeah. no matter what people say, you you just can't. And uh, I put guttering on it. <laughs> yeah. I put guttering on the side skirts and made this diffuser oh, out of guttering. <laughs> yeah, uh, mate, to be fair, like it was one of those things that I looked at and thought to myself, never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I ended up making these stickers called Gutter Gang. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh my God. They were literally like, like loads of people had them on stuff. And they, I get, I used to get people message me on Instagram like, yeah. oh, I've made these. And people that would then make like side skirts with like, yeah. I don't know, like these weird diffuser bits that looked yeah. absolutely awesome, but it was all out of like plastic guttering. Uh, I did it with, uh, I didn't, oh, man, I say I did it, I didn't end up doing it. My MX-5, um, they had, they run like these uh, side steps, like a flat yeah. side step along the side. And, um, mate, they're so expensive. <laughs> so I, the original ones I made, which I covered in vinyl, which was a shocking, a shocking idea. When I think about it. But I thought if I cover them in vinyl enough, they won't get wet, which is still shit. It was MDF, which <laughs> I never put them on, but like it was a great template because then I, I looked at, I looked at it and thought, like, that's not going to work. But I had, had some left over from something. Uh, the second ones I made were, you know, uh, it's brilliant. You know, um, PVC windows. You go up to a window <laughs> yeah. and there's like a, a windowsill and they're yeah. usually like a flat plastic windowsill. If you get them... Uh, like literally there's like you can buy pretty thick ones they're sturdy as fuck they're cheap as shit literally you can go fucking get them cut them to shape with like a saw like or like a uh, uh, jigsaw yeah and they cut fine (laughs) sand the edges off spray them black bruv you got sides yeah and I I did it I never put them on because I sold the car but I actually did it and they looked savage like but I offered them up against the car kind of taped them on as like a visual and was like Oh my god, I wanted something <laughs> like so, but yeah, mate, I'm I'm fully about gutter game. Like, <laughs> was some, someone took a picture of him, put it on Slamber. Oh really? <laughs> just as like hated. Like, oh mate, absolutely don't hated. So fucking I, remind me about Slamber. I put. I remember commenting on it saying, uh, "Oh, if you want to check out that guy, that idiot Scirocco with the gutter gang, follow his Instagram." I got loads of followers. Because <laughs> <laughs> Slamber back in the day was like a hundred k page, wasn't yeah, it? Man, it was crazy. like a hundred k page of pure bullying. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be on it. <laughs> no, no, I got put no. on there a few times. Really? Yeah, I got put on there. Like someone put me up as uh, someone edited my face onto Hitler. Yeah, but the funny thing was that the, the joke backfired because uh, they put it on there and the only comments that they had was who the fuck is this and why you put in uncorrelated posts and the kid got slaughtered for putting in uncorrelated <laughs> posts and he got taken down. Karma. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. If anything, fuck you. You're mostly doing nothing with your life. Like, it's true. Like, um, uh, yeah, I can't remember who it fucking was because I'm not fucking about that life uh, I don't care uh, but yeah no mate like that I got, yeah I got put on server that was bad that was bad to be fair I did see it and thought to myself that's fucking funny like, um, but yeah it was horrible what a horrible place to be yeah, that was not nice um <laughs> So did you actually get torn a complete new arsehole on Slamba? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, really? Yeah, it was it was bad. But And then I, I think the funniest part was I, I remember this one guy messaged me on Instagram saying, how much for a shoot? 
Yeah. And I was like, I know that name. Like, I've seen that name before. And I thought, hang on. Yeah. Went on Slamber. And there was this comment from this guy calling me, you know what. Yeah. And uh, I just screenshotted it, <laughs> sent it back to him on Instagram, yeah. saying, 500 pounds, mate. Yeah. And he was just like, why 500? I was just like, for your comment. And, and uh, he saying? was just like, oh. <laughs> he just, like, what I don't end it. Yeah. Stagged me off on Slamber, but then asked me how much for a shoot for his what car. What the fuck? <laughs> Mate, some funny. people, like, literally, yeah. some fucking people. Like, I, I said this the other day. I, I don't want to keep bringing it up, but I'm going to gloat. Um, <laughs> someone said to me, oh, it was in one of the podcasts, literally, it said something. I think it was Dan. Turned around to me and said, um, I can't remember where it was, but long story, long story short, I said, yeah, people have slagged me off online and then paid me 15, pick, 15 pound a ticket to get on my show. <laughs> That's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> That's fucking silly. That's brilliant. But yeah, but <clears throat> same shit, mate. Isn't it? You're always it is what get it, it is, isn't it? Um, okay, so fitted. Um, you come with the camera, obviously fucking produced. The the uh, shots still to this day, obviously are still all on the Instagram and the stuff that you took at Broke was at the farm, yeah, which man. was mental, mate. That was so good. Uh, that was like realistically one of the first times where we had photographers previously, but one of the first times where I was like, I need a photographer for a specific use and it's for my show. Um, do you know what I mean? Like I had it for the yeah. first year, but even so it was like, I needed someone there and obviously you came and fucking performed. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, yeah. So now where do you like, explain to us like where you currently work what you're currently doing um because i think it's really cool that we touch on that and, and but like you was talking to me just a minute ago the opportunities that you have there what you've seen and because it's fucking mad this stuff <laughs> yeah so i work for a company called motec performance um and what we do is we we modify cars basically so yeah we do like springs spacer kits carbon your, your max and stuff like that <laughs> so that's what we do but <clears throat> we deal with a lot of youtubers as well um so people will come in so I've, I've met quite a few cool people i get the opportunities to go to like auto sports show and stuff like that yeah. so i'm like some of the biggest shows which are pretty cool which i probably wouldn't have gone to if yeah like because i wouldn't your, have known about them yeah your background as well obviously what you've been going into and stuff the shows that you go is like stance yeah. stuff isn't it so it's not necessarily just stance stuff that you're able to attend yeah exactly and like i think i went to the london i think it was london auto show and uh, there was uh, um, NEC? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, XL? Is it London? I think, I think it's the yeah, XL. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And it was the first time I'd ever seen a... Is it Conan's Egg? Yes. I yeah. was blown away. Like, <laughs> blown away. And uh, there was... I, I was just looking at it from this barrier and I was just like, oh my God. That's and it. And then That's the, the guy... The, yeah, the guy that... It was his area kind of thing was Air Shroud. I don't know if you've ever yeah, met yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't met him, but he's the car cover yeah, thing, right? yeah. Yeah. So, and he was just like, "Oh, come in, come in!" And there was this massive queue, and I bypassed this queue, yeah. and was literally in the area with this Conan Zeg, like yeah. spaghetti's, and I was just yeah. like, "Oh wow, <laughs> like, time, this yeah. is the dream!" And it, there was no one else in there, and yeah. I was just able to get pictures. Yeah. And everyone else had to take their pictures from the wooden fence. I was like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was this? Because you were wearing like the t-shirt. Um, or... Yeah. So, well, I'd actually gone there to. So basically, where where I work. Um, there's a company called TPC yeah. and they have the Liberty Walk Europe yeah. rights. So I actually went there to drive the Liberty Walk I8 back from the show, yeah, amazing. Um, which That's in so itself sick. was an experience. I mean, there was me in the I8. Um, I think Indy was in the uh, GTR Liberty yeah. Walk. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy was driving the Aventador yeah. and we were just cruising down back from London. Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was and like you, Yeah, literally, awesome. you, you, how, how far is the fucking journey? Um, probably about an hour, hour and oh, a half. Six. You had a good, so, good yeah. old time. And, that's that's and like, you just see people like when you're in those cars, they're, they're, they're a statement in themselves. Next, next level shit. Yeah. So to be able to drive one of them, let yeah. alone actually see them yeah. and like see them be built as well. Yeah. So like I get to go to color craft when they're like <clears throat> cutting the arches out of a Lambo and they're Co fitting kits. And that, that's a really like, cool. They're, like they're crazy. Yeah. I've seen some of their work to think, think to myself, Oh my God, like what the hell? This is so sick. Yeah. So, it's just it's just cool to be around stuff like that. Like, it's it's a. Uh, I, I guess sometimes I'll I'll look at it and go, oh that's cool. Yeah. And I don't realize like how cool it actually yeah, is. Yeah. I think you take it like you take a lot for granted when you see stuff yeah, every day. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Um. Because yeah. um, you started so this uh, year just gone for Broke Boys at the Farm and the show's just gone in 2019. You drove the uh, GT86. Yeah. Is it GT86 or is it yeah. Super? Is no, it GT86? GT86, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you drove that to a lot of shows yeah. and I, that was through them that you had the opportunity to do so, right? Yeah, so that was um, Colourcraft's 
own car. So they yes. actually built that themselves. So and that's all paint, <coughs> isn't it? That was all paint, yeah. Everyone yeah. thought that that was stickers. There was not one sticker on that car yeah. other than, I think, the Bear Car Care sticker yeah, on the yeah. window. But yeah, yeah, that yeah. was literally it. <clears throat> Everything else on that car was painted. Mental. Uh, obviously, yeah. This I take it there's shitloads of photos on your Instagram. Oh, there's tons of that kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So J Bass B A S S. Go yeah. check that out. I think you'll know what we're fucking talking about. Yeah, man. It's a green, black. What other colours are? Grey. Yeah, it's yeah. greeny colours. Isn't yeah, it? <clears throat> um, like it is wide body, right? Yeah. Is it wide body? Yeah, yeah man. Okay. I'm just I trying think to get to the top I'm of my head. Pretty sure it was the one of the first ones in Europe, if not the first one in Europe. And what kit's it got? A Liberty Walk uh, The kit? Liberty Walk Okay, kit, yeah. cool, yeah. So it's running, obviously, Liberty Walk kit. Go check that out, because then you'll be able to fucking see what we're chatting about. Yeah. But the impressive part for me was the fact that it was all paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I, when you, I think when you told me, oh, it's all paint, I was like, no way. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. So like, it's, not, it's not anything like... You know like when you see some cars that like blend it? Like it's not crazy, crazy, but yeah. like the amount of work, like yeah. just to like get the pattern. Like even all like, like the sponsors, like Piper Cross and stuff like that, all on the arches, they were all painted on. They weren't even Madness. stickers. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, that's sick. Um, so yeah, so you, you're working for them now and obviously I've seen that you like see a lot of the Liberty Walk stuff, etc. Yeah. I8 was uh, the car that you drove back. My question is, what's your favourite that you've seen or kind of seen them work on, or what's your favourite that you've driven? I don't know. Uh, do you get to do you get to drive the like have a little cruise in the lot, or is it just literally? Um, it it depends. So like sometimes <laughs> sometimes they'll ask me to go with them or take a car to a show or yeah. help drive them back or because yeah. obviously they, they've got such a massive collection of cars that <laughs> <laughs> guys we need yeah. you. It's, oh, all right then. <laughs> if I must, I'm free. <laughs> yeah, go on. Um, I think <clears throat> so for me. So I've been in the GTR, the i8. The GT86. It's been yeah, on what colour is the GTR? The GTR is the grey one. And that's the one that Nico just bought, right? Did he just that buy that? Is in, that is indeed, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, cause... I'm allowed to say now, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the video's oh, out. out. <laughs> oh, yeah, the video's out. Yeah, this has been yeah. on. Yeah, yeah it's all been out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's his car now. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, once again, <clears throat> Nico from Yanomai has just bought a yeah. wide body Liberty Walk GTR, which is nuts i saw it and i was just like it was like new car and i was just like ha, ha, yeah and he was like no no no. So like like i saw like the posters i was like oh shit like not doubting him for a second but like i thought to myself like liberty walk ain't said in the gtr and then obviously i saw it and yeah. i thought fuck all the all the cars are, all the cars are for sale so the i8's for sale as well oh so they yeah, just they, always they all that for makes sale, sense yeah. it does make yeah. sense yeah but that's crazy obviously you just yeah. you just i don't know i just didn't see it coming yeah didn't see crazy, that coming at all he hasn't had, i don't yeah. think he's had a car for ages or not a, not because he had a civic years ago Did he? which was on there yeah 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 oh, nice yeah he had a civic on there um and then oh fuck how did it work he had a civic on there and i don't know if he had anything in between i don't think he did it, unless he was driving like a daily but i don't think he had anything showy yeah and then obviously that gtr that he just bought yeah. i was like fuck insane um, car yeah absolutely insane but yeah go on carry on so your so, favorite so yeah life. i think looks wise yeah i think it's the i8 Really? Like, gen- yeah, it's just right. so sleek and just Mate, let insane. me, I don't know what's that, you know the, uh, what's it called, it's like law, obviously law of attraction. Like when you see, you know, like I always compare it to like GTA. You know yeah. when you like need a car, find <laughs> yeah. the car. I want that car. I want the car, you get in it and then every cunt's got the same fucking car as you. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. fuck's sake. Like, um, yeah, so like, you know, like when you just see something, know something and then like all of a sudden you see it every day. Yeah. Right, so let me explain this. <laughs> I'm chatting to, I think it's Dan. I don't want to fucking say it just in case but I'm sure it was Dan from Killer Wipers I said like oh what's your dream car like what do you, what'd you want you say I want an i8 and I was like really like what the hell <laughs> and then um, I'm watching a program yesterday and it was called like um, Rich Rich oh, no it was uh, Welsh something and Minted or something it was called okay and it's just on TV and this kid is a YouTuber earning all this money the gentleman they're like bigging him up yep. it's just for the TV program. it's like a Dave program sort of thing <laughs> like that kind of like voiceover yeah. style that Dave does and then um they, he, he's like, yeah, and he drives a sports car and then like pans outside the window of his apartment in Wales and oh, it's an i8. And I was like, what the fuck is this about? <laughs> and then you just got to say that your favourite car is the i8 as well. <laughs> Mate, I just, I'll be straight with you, I don't like them. So yeah, they are, they are Marmite. I think <clears throat> a lot of people either love them or hate them. I don't, uh, I don't want to say I hate them. 
Because I, I think hate's the wrong word because obviously when they were first brought out, it was like finally someone's actually produced a concept car. Yeah. Like, you know, like you see like all these concept cars, they look amazing. And then like they produce like a really shit version. <laughs> yeah. It's like they give you, they, like, they show you Jennifer Lopez and then they give you like Sarah from a council estate. <laughs> and it's just like, what? But then yeah. BMW is one of the first people like they bought out, well, it, I don't know if that was their concept, but like fuck it. When it first it came It still out, looks futuristic now. Oh, mate. It's, even yeah. though it's actually yeah. a, Fairly old car. So I look at that. Yeah, because it's it like over 10 years old now. Yeah, I should imagine. That's so. mental. Yeah. But That's it still mental. looks like it's from the future. Like, yeah. Even like the grills on the front, how yeah. they're just like solid. Grills and the, like the, the doors rear lights and, and yeah, yeah, everything. So like for that aspect of it all, I'm like, yeah, I ate sick. Like, but then the actual car itself, I'm like, I'd still rather an M4 <laughs> or an M3 to be fair. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I d- yeah, I do like M cars. Yeah, yeah, but like I, I don't know what it is. I still feel that way. I think about for them. me though, I it would have to be a Liberty Walk I eight. It couldn't be like a, oh, yeah. a standard one. I know what you mean. If yeah. that makes sense, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. personally wouldn't choose an I eight if it was standard. Yeah, if yeah. it's Liberty Walk, I'll be like, yeah, I'll be yeah. all over that. Hey, that's crazy. So, drive wise, what are they like? You have to be careful because, like, I think like when I when I had the GT eighty yeah. six, you can't. It, it doesn't fit. In a parking yeah. space. Yeah. So you can't like, say for instance, like when we're going to a show and we're pulling into services or you're just like the furthest possible way across yeah. two spaces because you don't want anyone to yeah, yeah, yeah. open a door on it because yeah, it just doesn't yeah, yeah. fit in a space. They, but they drive phenomenal. Like, really? Like yeah. you wouldn't know, like they're all on Airx suspension and stuff like that. Yeah. You wouldn't know that. The act- yeah, so like as an actual car itself, like yeah. the drive's actually pretty good. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't tell any difference. That's crazy. Yeah. So are they, are they, I'm going to ask a really stupid question. Are they 100% electric? Or are they... The i8s? Yeah. No, they're, they're a 1.5 engine. So effectively they're so a they're hybrid. So they're hybrid, yeah. Okay, cool. I yeah. couldn't remember. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um, because then the... What's the little fat version they did? The i10? Is it i10 or i3? Oh, the i3, the little i3s, yeah. Yeah, they're like a chubby mum. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like chubby, futuristic mum. Like something like yeah, that. Yeah, they're just like a little, yeah. Yeah, um, them ones. They, yeah. um, are they are they hybrid as well? Um, yeah, I think you can get full electric ones now. I was going to say, because I thought you could. Yeah, you can I get full electric or you that. can get hybrid. I, yeah. I might be wrong, but yeah, I, don't, I think so. Yeah, I don't know why that's in my head, but for some reason I'm a... I'm sitting here thinking to myself that you can yeah. get a full electric one. Yeah, I know, I, I know you can, yeah. I've seen um, round here. I don't know if you... I, don't, I doubt you get them up your way. Oh, that's really horrible of me to say. But like <laughs> London, I've seen them driving the little i3s. Please. Yeah, they're like really Cars. popular. Yeah. Because they're just... I think it's to do with um, like the the tax band or the yeah, emission band and stuff. Probably. It's like it's cheaper to go through London. on but, the... Yeah, uh, but poli- police cars specifically. Oh, really? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have uh, police cars and... Um, paramedic cars around the oh, i3s wow. they've had them for years yeah that's crazy but i've I, never I, seen an i3 I, police car yeah never. yeah they've got 100 like, percent. that's mad yeah so police cars they've got they've not loads but they've got like a few that run through like central london yeah. and stuff and like I, I do when i see them i do think to myself oh poor you, do you know what i mean <laughs> you could have got given anything do you know what i mean you could have got given that remap test t like that focus or something do you know what Skoda I mean? octavia yeah or like uh, uh they do um around here they've got loads around there of the um five series estate nice yeah and like they didn't like, they have a lotus at one point oh i don't know i'm sure i've seen it i remember reading really? an article about it they had like some lotus police car that they were trialing out like lotus gave them what one the of their hell? brand new cars so they did it as a police car to catch people what the hell yeah. they've got uh a lot of hyundai's around there police cars really yeah and they use um they use them as undercovers as well they're like, uh, but they're always navy blue or grey. So it's just like, literally <laughs> when you see one, or you see <laughs> a BMW in the distance, like a five series BMW estate in the distance, which which something that looks like a roof rack, slow down. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> slow down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they use them as undercovers. You see them all the fucking time. Oh, wow. Yeah. They they I think they use golf round it as undercovers as well. Uh, the uh, the Mark Seven, obviously. The but, CR way is just like Skodas. Really. And like Beamers. Yeah, a couple of Skodas around there, yeah. but like. But yeah, no, the, the i3, I've definitely seen. And I do yeah. always think to myself, like, you walked in on shift that day, thinking to yourself, it's going to be a great day. And then, <laughs> oh, Dave, you're out in the i3 today, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Appreciate it. No, literally, your day just gets worse. But yeah, yeah. no, the i 8s okay. I, I don't rate or rave about them at all. But yeah, I, I guess if you were to have one, I get yeah. why you the Liberty Walk would be the one that you would have. Yeah. Um, the original video that I ever saw of that, I don't know if it was of a Liberty... Oh, no, I think it was a Liberty Walk one. 
uh, was like um, like a stance video. It was on air, and um, oh, I think it was black. Sil- like some silver, oh, the Vossen or Vossen, however you pronounce it, wheels. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. I can't remember. I'm sure it was like a, a, a is it Vossen or Vossen? Vossen, yeah. Vossen. <clears throat> I'm sure it was like a, like an ad for them. And they had like a Liberty Walk i8 and something like that. I can't remember. But oh, when I first saw it, I thought, fuck, yeah. that is sick. Like, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I did, I have always kind of sat there and been like, yeah, they are kind of cool, but. I just kind of said that so there's like eight, 80 more cars I'd rather get. Yeah. That's the only issue that I've got. So, did it drive better than the 86? Um, they're, How? they're two very different cars, like, oh, to right, compare. Because oh, right. <laughs> when, I think, for me, when you're in a, when you're in that hybrid, like, <clears throat> just the noise, it's like a, the only way to explain it is like a unicorn noise. It's like a twinkly little, yeah. like, <laughs> I mean, it's just like this unicorn noise of like, I, I, I'm not even going to try and do the noise. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just weird. Don't, don't. I don't know if I can take it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you get that, which is like, it's just like a futuristic vibe. As soon as you get yeah. in it, like you pull in the door down and you're like yeah, laid back yeah. kind of thing. I think any car <clears> that opens up with those doors is like, yeah, like yeah. Well, uh, I had a guy that I used to work with. Um, he had a McLaren 12C, I want to say, which I think have got the what doors are they called? I always get it wrong. Is it like Goldwing or is Goldwing? Yeah. No, Goldwing's like the tester, isn't it? Yeah, I always get are. them confused. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. But either way, <laughs> he had the doors that went upwards. Yep. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, like you felt like a fucking boss. Like he was just like, "You want to go get lunch?" I was just like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> yeah. Yes, pull I up fucking do. front space. Yeah. Open those doors. Oh yeah, because he used to park like right outside the offices. Like he was, uh, I mean, he could afford <laughs> the parking outside. It's like twelve pound, like fucking every four hours or something. So he's like doing twenty four pound a day on parking. Some shit. <laughs> nice. Like, um, another car that I want to talk to you about. Um, which we'll get into the photography stuff in a minute because just while we're on the topic of cars, um, the one series that is it yes. right of me to call it a one series or does it because it's a one M one three five I yeah but is that an M one? It's not, is it? No, it's not an M one. Doesn't I think, count because like the class is an M light, so like a yeah. like a baby M car. <laughs> um, but yeah, the one three five I yeah the new one. So your the reason I'm bringing it up is because. Uh, Motec was like one of the first people that I saw with one. Yeah. Um, and have you driven that? Yeah, I've driven it quite a lot. Is it nice? I love it. Like, really? Genuinely love it. And do you actually like the look of it? So when I first seen the car, so yeah. when I seen like the BMW press images, yeah. I was a bit like, oh Ugh, man, you don't... no. Yeah. But how the car is now, yeah. I I love it, like genuinely. Have, that, have your guys awesome. done any like exterior <clears throat> mods to it? So at the minute we've got, so we've just swapped out like the um, the front grills and yeah. like the uh, mirror caps and the little canard bits on the front. So they're all gloss black. Yeah. Um, it's got Maxton. So it's the, the original's gone back on like resprayed. Yeah. So they're just, well, it's actually a BMW part. Um, so oh, we just okay. bought a black grill basically. Okay, right, yeah. um, so I think on the M sport pack or whatever the pack it was yeah. um it has like a champagne color yeah um but we've done those gloss black and then it's got maxton front and sides on it yeah um obviously got eye back springs um and then it's just got some nice bowler wheels on it and yeah. some nankan tires which are like 90 percent track 10 percent road i saw a <laughs> <laughs> no <Naughty> tires <laughs> uh, i saw a picture of it the other day with the black grill so i'm assuming yeah. that this is after all the mods have been done yeah and like to be fair i did look at it and think to myself oh, it looks like it looks better now um what is like your opinion on? I don't know. This is you're not here to talk about BMWs. <laughs> but, like, but what's your opinion on the front end? Because this, is, I, I like. I see. I, I've seen a couple. I see the rear end, and I think looks fine. Yeah. Looks absolutely fine. Looks like a meatier, beefier version. I get that. And then I see the front, and I look at it like the little pigs from Angry Birds. <laughs> they've got big nostrils. So when it when it first arrived, I was just like, oh, I'm not too sure. I'm not yeah. too sure. But like. It's, it's there every day. I see it every day. Yeah, yeah. And it just grows on you. Yeah. And the the bit for me was the other day when we were drag racing the new 135i against the uh, 140. Yeah. When you see them together, like you, the you look at it and you just go, wow, that 140 looks so old. Yeah. Like, it looks so old. That's and it's so like, annoying, isn't it's, it? It's 2019 play car or 2018 play car. Yeah. But it looks about 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah, I look at so many cars like that yeah. uh, recently um they bring out a new model and a new version and i might like it might dislike it and then the one before looks so old yeah and you're like 
how has yeah. that even happened? Like, like they were new six months ago. Yeah, like, how? <laughs> how's that a thing? I don't understand. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I find that with so many. I can't even. I can't think of one off the top of my head. But I was looking at a car the other day and thought to myself, "Fuck me, the old version looks so old now." Mm. But I, I think I still. Um, so, not the current shape of the one series. Yeah. Uh, not the one before. So the one forty i that you just explained. I yeah. know what one you're on about. The one before that. When you look at them, they look really old. They used to do oh, one the, series, like the one series pre-LCI coupe. kind of version. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this was before they changed all the numbers and fucked it up. Yeah, so no one knows. What. Yeah, so that, yeah. like one. What I don't understand because they did. They used to do uh, the one series, then they did the one series coupe, which made sense. Yeah, and then they changed it so it was the one series, and then the one series coupe, which isn't a one series coupe, then got called a two series. Two series, yeah. Yeah, which which is annoying because they do semi look like the front end of a one series. Yeah. So, I mean, you could catch it at an angle and think and it was a think, one series yeah. and then like look to the edge and realize it's got a back and oh, it's a two series. And then <laughs> yeah. they did the M2, which looked banging. Yeah. But I think if they put the M2 front on the one series yeah. and just made it a hatchback, it would have been perfect. Yeah. But they should never have fucked up the numbers. They shouldn't because there's a, <laughs> isn't the one series coupe now? Like a mum, it's like a mum's fucking little weird triangle looking car <laughs> like it's you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like uh it's like something you take the kids to school I'm, gonna, I'm literally gonna sit here and fucking look it up i haven't seen it <clears throat> i'm sure it is man it really fucking confused because i know me. i know the the old 1m that is an incredible car one series coupe uh oh god 2000 2019 should we go for give give them a year off <laughs> Oh, oh no, because they're about. To, I think they're about to change it as well. They're about. To, oh, no, they didn't have it. So what am I thinking of? Are you thinking of the um, the X one? Are you thinking of the X one and the X twos? But they're bringing out because they're like little bubble mum cars. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of that. They're like a like a one series on steroids a bit like an X one. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of that then. Yeah, it might be those because yeah. they're, uh, they're in a quiet But yeah, taste. it really upset me because I really love BMW. <laughs> really love BMW. And then they yeah. just really ruined like what number was what. And I was just like, why? Why have you done this? <laughs> why have you fucking done this? Um, okay, so uh, enough about that. Let's talk about um, one thing that a lot of people might know about you, might not. Obviously, you've just started. Well, I say just started. Not really. Well, yeah, kind of. Your YouTube channel. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Uh, about two weeks, three okay, weeks. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd missed anything yeah. before that. Um, but it's massively linked to the fact that you are obviously in a band. Yeah. Now, something I didn't know about you, like this is it's so funny because like you and your brother, we keep referring to your brother as well. I feel like we've got to address that. <laughs> so let me explain. So um, yeah, because no one knows that we're brothers either, <laughs> which is so fucked. Mate, it's so fucked up. Right. So. I met you obviously at Brokeworks at the Farm. We then yep. move on to Fitted, and you bring Liam with you. Yep. It's Liam Kirkgray, right? So I'm like, okay, like these two are mates. Like these are <laughs> these are friends. They're always together. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just best mates. So I mean, like me and Mike always together. You two are together. It's a thing, right? So I'm like walking around, and then like, oh yeah, he's my brother. I'm like. You ain't fucking brothers. You just don't look like anything like each other. Like you're the most opposite I can fucking. So yeah. how do you how how old's Liam? So I'm 27 and he's 25. Okay. So yeah, so you, I find out your brothers. I was like, what the fuck? But then a funnier story happened, which is obviously kind of related to you as well with the collide thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's explain that. So <laughs> I'm uh, texting Jay. Uh, he's come back to his hotel room. I'm like, bro, we're about to go Nando's. Obviously, you come with. I'll pay for your food. Like whatever like just <laughs> yeah. come because i want you to film everything <laughs> he's like yeah okay well i'm with liam i'll uh I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute and i think i took liam's number for some reason i had mm. liam's number so <clears throat> i've rung liam and it's come up on liam's phone as dan aesthetics right yeah so he's like what the fuck and i'm like oh you're right mate yeah we're at nando's and he's like okay like me and jay are coming like we'll be there in a minute right let's backtrack so <laughs> Early days, like 2016, I think, of, of Broke Boys. I, I think I might have mentioned this in a podcast the other day, but I, long story short, separated Broke Boys and me printing clothes. So I used to print clothes for Broke Boys. Every time someone said, where'd you get your clothes printed? I thought to myself, oh my God, I can make some money here. <laughs> Rebranded myself as a, thing, as, a, as a, I say a company, a brand called Aesthetics. Started up an Instagram page, posted the clothes that I was printing, blah, 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 blah. 
So <laughs> every time someone messaged me, I would always say, oh, like, I use these guys. They're called Aesthetics. Go to them. But really, it was just me. And the funny part was on Aesthetics, I used to call myself Danny. No one calls me Danny. I'm Dan. So Dan was broke boys. Danny was Aesthetics, right? So I had a e- like, little email address, little hotmail email address, like nothing special. So Liam messages once. Liam used to talk to us and he messages saying, I've run in a thing called Collide. Yeah. Uh, which club. is a <clears throat> car club that you and your brother used to run, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and what do you do? Just meets and stuff specifically? Yeah, just, yeah just literally mates. just meets and like, yeah, that was it really. Just car meets. And yeah. Go to shows and stuff like that. Yeah, have little stands yeah. and stuff. And he messaged me and said, we need hoodies printed. Who do you get your stuff printed from? So I've messaged him back and gone, oh, like I use this guy. It's me. <laughs> Lo and behold, he sends an order in. I print, send it out. He knows nothing. Done. That way, if I fucked it up or messed it up <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't come back on Broke Boys. It would come back on Danny from Aesthetics. <laughs> so that was the thing. So he saved my number because I was texting him at the time about the whole order. And then like three years goes past, Collide uh, finishes. You stop yeah. doing it. Three, three years passes. <laughs> I'm at fucking the event <laughs> talking to Jay. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, oh yeah, Jay, like come down. He's like, yeah, yeah, call my brother when you're ready. Like done. And then I ring him and he's still got my number saved. And he's like, why did you come up with Dan Aesthetics? When he sits down at the table, I was like, oh my God. I was like, fuck, you're Liam. Like, I was like, this makes so much sense. The funny thing was with Aesthetics, I printed for about four people. I think it was five people. Um, so I never really did a lot, but yeah, that was fucking funny. That cracked me up. So. Small world, man. Small yeah. world. So um, let's explain explain Collide a little bit more then. So you just started Collide off. Um, yeah, so it was, it was Liam originally and it was literally like, um, so th- this is how I then got into cars, really. Yeah. So Liam was just like, "Oh yeah, just come down, blah blah blah." So used to chill with them, and then um, we used what? to have stickers. Why collide? Um, it was just the name that he'd come up with. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. The irony, the the <laughs> amount of jokes we would get on Facebook. <laughs> oh, there's a collide car. Rah, rah, rah. I'm going to collide into it. Oh, no. <laughs> Go on, then. I'm insured. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we used to literally run these. Uh, stickers on our windscreen how everyone has a sticker on their windscreen yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. Um, and it just had collide it was just in a white font yeah and uh yeah we just had loads and then it would just be almost you would drive around peterborough and i would say every sixth car would have a collide sticker on no, and you'd just right. be flashing yeah and yeah we that that's just what it became and then we'd go to stuff like modified nationals and there'd just be loads of us there and, yeah and yeah it's like then, just a huge band of fucking mates yeah yeah, yeah, and we'd sick. just have like meets here, there, and we'd we'd cruise to this meet, <laughs> but there'd be like 20, 30 cars of us, and then, yeah. do you know what I mean? So that's what it was, really, but that's how I literally got involved with cars, and yeah. then met people here, met people here. Oh, let's go to this show, let's do this, let's do that. Yeah, so, so. Link, linking this to when I brought up, obviously, that you are in a band a second ago. So you initially started shooting videos for your band. Yeah. Then you moved on and started doing the car stuff as well. Yeah. Um, and then since then, obviously, it's become effectively like your career. So your position yeah. at Motec is? Is, yeah, content creator. So I yeah. would take all the pictures, make videos, um, do bits on the website and stuff like that. Yeah. Like do graphics and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so your channel, um, obviously, you've got some cool content coming that we discussed. Am I allowed to say this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, go for it. So you've got cool content coming because your first kind of videos that you've uploaded so far have been... Yeah. Um, uh, the vlog style videos yeah. is what I'm trying yeah, to say. Literally, just what I've been up to, or if I'm going somewhere that I'm filming, I'll try and do like a behind the scenes video, yeah, um, and stuff like that, really. So, the because I, I started watching one the other day, and obviously, it was like you guys in the tour bus, and I was just talking this about you to, <laughs> yeah. with all this uh, just off camera. So, like, I find <clears throat> that so cool, like, so. Your your band like explain explain everything about it. so like genre like what like who you who you are in it what you do in it like what position do you know okay what I mean? cool like, yeah so I'm in a band we're called Lonesome yeah. um so we are a, a quite a not unique um style of music but we're like aspects of a lot of different parts yeah. so our music is very ambient very chilled it's more of a journey and a story rather than just a song that you would hear on the radio so yeah. our songs tend to be a little bit longer than usual so you probably find about four or five minutes but yeah. so we we released a couple of eps <clears throat> now our ep goes from start to finish so it's like 30 minutes long but it's one song yeah. that you can then loop back and forth very even cool. though it's five different songs yeah, very cool. um so that that's the sort of thing we do we wanted to go into like writing music for films so that's the idea behind this, it. Yeah, this makes sense because you're right. I'm I, I'm terrible, but I don't remember the name. Um, 
you released a video what in the last few months which was like you in the bath yeah so that was called from myself yeah and yeah. like i i watched the whole i listened to the whole thing i was like expecting like i don't know like a stereotypical band sort yeah. of vibe and like didn't give that at all no and i was like this is actually sick and when you say like now you said like oh yeah we like originally wanted or like we've thought about like making music for films and stuff yeah. mate i sat I, I swear to you on my life i literally sat there thinking like this would be sick on a video like, this would be sick <laughs> for like i don't know like youtubers to use or something maybe no, thank uh, you, like man. a lower end that's sort of, that's literally the yeah. vibe i took off it, mate. so you're obviously doing the right yeah that's the that's the idea so like for, for example like so <laughs> i i'm the vocalist and i yeah. play guitar in the band as yeah. well we have two other guitarists so yeah. that's why it's such a huge sound because we have three guitarists which most bands normally wouldn't yeah. obviously we've got bass player and drummer as well so like when we wrote our ep is called to myself from myself yeah it's literally a letter. I just wrote a letter yeah. and the letter is broken into sections to each track. Oh, and that's why it's called you. To Myself, From Myself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's why it all flows in one go because yeah, it's not sick. like... But yeah, so that's that's the idea behind it all. And yeah. that's, what, that's the kind of vibe that we want to go for rather than just playing it for the sake of being yeah, in a band understand. or... How many like, like <clears throat> videos have you shot? So or... I've actually shot a video for every single track off of that EP. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. sick. Oh, but hang on. How many have you released? All of them. Have you released all of them? Yeah, we, I, so they're not through my channel. So, I was going to say, because I've yeah. only spotted the one. I was thinking to myself, where the, how the fuck am I missing Yeah, it? so the very first one I did was like um, through a forest, so loads of drone shots um, yeah. and just running constantly. Yeah. But I actually, <laughs> funny story behind this. So you actually think it's me in the video running, but it's not because I'm filming it. So I had to get my mate to wear my jacket and stuff and run through the, let, the yeah, forest. Yeah, fucking <laughs> let me just explain something that I spotted. I'm glad you said that. Um, so I'm watching the video earlier on. Yeah. Uh, it's you, like you're in the bath, like yep. there's shots of you, you're walking, you like like kill yourself, like you die, like all this yep. shit's happening, like the shot of you in the mirror is fucking cold. <laughs> so basically you're standing in front of, like he's uh, Jay standing in front of a mirror and the, the, the Jay in the mirror is moving and you're not on the yep. other side, which was sick. I'm like banging, like I know how you do it, but I'm like, yep. that's fucking, look, just look good. It <laughs> matched you, the video. And then like at the end, it's like filmed by Jay Bass. So I was like, <laughs> or Jay Messer. I'm like, what the hell? Like, no, it's not. You were in it. Like that, that, that video, yeah. like, so story behind this video. So, uh, that was the only track on the the album that we hadn't really filmed a video for, yeah. and it's my favourite track. Yeah, and I just I just got in my head that I wanted to make a video. <laughs> sounds really weird, of a bath. Like, yeah, okay. just like that was just my. I just wanted to do it. I yeah. don't know, there was no particular reason for it. So for about three months, I'd just been coming home from work and be like, oh, I'll film this bit. This bit could be cool. Yeah. And then this bit and this bit. And then I pieced it all together and was like, oh, lads, what do you think of this? So like, okay, we've got to release it. So then we were yeah. speaking to our like uh, our manager and he was just like, our PR company. And they were like, yeah, we need to release it this weekend. I was oh, just wow. like, oh, okay. Um, so I quickly finished it off. But that entire video was literally me and a camera. There was That's no one else madness, filming it. Mate. I just put it on tripods here, tripods there. But the bit where I go under the water is me holding the camera. No. I literally held I the, didn't know. I held the camera at arm's length. Yeah. Went under the water, held my breath for as long as I could, came up, and I'd held my breath for that long. I was literally coughing up water. And that that was just one take, one clip yeah. that I just put in the video. That's sick. Yeah. And that, I did so yeah. obviously I've watched the whole video, not knowing that it's gonna come up at the end yeah. saying shot by J Bass. I'm like, yeah. what? So like <laughs> I've watched the whole thing and I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is this is sick. Um Mate, you can't tell that you're holding that camera. It's, like it's crazy, now, yeah. I know I'm gonna look and be. Now like, you're gonna oh, look and go, sense. oh yeah, he's holding the camera. But yeah, Fuck, that's and that, was, that was one take because I was just like, yeah, I can't do this again. I hate water. Oh, do you not like water? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I hate being in like, <laughs> open water and stuff. So for me, I yeah. think I wanted to make the video to, I don't know, just like because yeah, I don't really yeah. like that. But I did it, and I was just like, mate, wow. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's sick as well, mate, because um, this isn't like fucking God. It's gonna sound bad. It's not like hitting directly at anyone. But as an example, there are. Uh, obviously I'm situated in the car market I see car videographers all the time and every now and then I see them try and shoot something else and they're just all due respect like not great at it because they're kind of good at like they've found their niche sort of thing yeah, of course, they can yeah. be good at it but like it takes practice Yeah. Um, and like after shooting 15 car videos and then like one odd one that isn't all of a sudden it's just like they're still in those like car related video modes yeah yeah it's hard to adjust yeah and obviously easy. you've done it the other way around but I've seen some of your car stuff too um Especially, so you do you like with Motec? Is it like what do you say your job consists? Is it like more so um, 
video or more so photo or um, percentage both, wise? Sorry. Both the same really. Um, I'd say yeah. it's fifty fifty. So we have all we have our YouTube channel, um, <laughs> which is all vlogs and everything like that. So yeah. we'll vlog. So me and Mike um, will vlog like changing, like upgrading the brake pads on the one three five i or yeah. um, doing drag races. Yeah. So we went to uh, we did the BOTB drag race yeah. um, where our one series went against an A thirty five. So we'll go. We'll vlog our video whilst yeah. they're making their video, yeah. and then that'll go on our channel. But then okay, I'll also film like a car that's just come out. We've just lowered, put a carbon fiber kit on it. Yeah. Um, I'll film all of that. But every car we take or every car we do, I'll take pictures of. Okay. And that'll cool. be our Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So that, Makes sense. So that we can sell. Because people can't buy something yeah. if they don't see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, so. I understand. So you, like, obviously you've come like the other way around. And to be fair, like, I actually think it works quite well for you. But where you're doing both, obviously, like, you smash both. Thank um, you, man. I appreciate it. No, like, do, do you know what I mean? Like, do you can, like, see where I'm coming from? Cause yeah, I, no, I, yeah. I see what just, you mean because it's easier are, to transition into it from the other way. Than I think it is so, to... mate. Like, oh, just from my observation, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not a videographer, but like, from my observation, like, that usually seems to work better. Um, so I think that's why, obviously, like, you're so like well rounded when it comes to the whole videography. I appreciate it. I'm glad you think so. No, look, you see what I'm <laughs> saying, you. though. Like, it does make sense, yeah. mate. Like, I'm not even trying to like blow smoke at your ass. Like, that is actually <laughs> that's actually a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the cool thing which I went to mention earlier on is in one of your vlogs, I saw that obviously, we was just talking about this off camera, you was in um, that van, just in a van, yeah. like, so, oh, we're traveling yeah. an hour and something. It's like, like your little <laughs> yeah. tour bus sort of Yeah, thing, a little tour bus. Which I think is fucking wild cool. And like, literally, yeah. I was like, oh my God, you can rent tour bus. <laughs> like, I'm thinking like, oh my God, I could save money on a hotel for the next show. Like, I just rent a tour bus, yeah. put all my stock in there and then sleep in the van. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then you said that you might, at the end of a a show just shout out and say can we stay at your house yeah so explain this explain this <laughs> so for example so we're so the last two weekends in march yeah. we're touring um so what will happen is we'll all get to the studio we'll load the van up yeah um i'll have a great big crate of budweiser ready yeah. to go 12 p.m <laughs> i'm on it <laughs> and uh yeah so we'll get to the venue we'll wait around to the venue we'll set up blah blah, blah. but in the van there'll be like uh I think there's like six or seven seats in the back, but we'll have like a table yeah. in the middle. There'll be a TV on either end, old yeah. Xbox 360. So we'll just be like, last time we took Star Wars and watched all of Star Wars whilst playing drinking games and everyone got way too hammered. And then you've got to go on stage. And fucking yeah, well, this is after. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, but, but yeah, so normally I'm the one that gets a bit too drunk before we play a show. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Yeah, because yeah. I know what you're like, because you come and camped at my fucking show last year. We've got to carry on, yeah. we'll explain that in a minute. And uh, so, so yeah, then we, once we play the show, I'll literally be like, if if we haven't got somewhere to stay, I'll normally say down the mic, oh, if anyone wants to put up five dudes, <laughs> then uh, and we'll how crash many, at yours. how many times has someone got, yeah, I'll do it. Quite a few times. Like, That's yeah, mad. We've, this, we've yeah. stayed at a few people. But you make like some of the best friends doing yeah, that. Like, sick. Even going on tour. And, like, So we'll tour with another band. So yeah. we're going on tour with a band called Lestel. Yeah. So we'll go out and we'll play those three nights with that band. So it'll be three nights, us and them, three different locations or whatever, four different locations. And then you go from there. So you make like another like brotherhood with those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Mate, I think cool. it's uh, the reason I mention it and I'm like, I'm amazed by it because like, I've never been musically talented in any way. I didn't even like like music in school. <laughs> like it was just like not my thing. But the whole like tour thing was yeah. like, a, oh my god, I want to fucking, I want to like that. That sounds cool as fuck. Come with like. us if you got a free. <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking. My brother comes. No. So oh yeah, because yeah, I have. Yeah, Liam and Miles it. have come with us before. Um. So yeah, we nor we normally yeah. will say to someone, oh, if you want to come. 20 quid for fuel for the three days or whatever yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a spare seat for you come with us no, that's what we right. do loads yeah Wait, so when are you going um, the, no March oh, so fuck. we've got we've got two in March so we're yeah. doing the 20th 21st and 22nd of March yeah. and then the weekend after as well which I think is the 27th 28th and, and what do you do in the gap go home and then go back no. out you stay out you stay out for the day so you just so like for example the 20th we're in Reading yeah. and there's the bands playing and then there's like an emo club night afterwards. Oh, yeah, you just said this. So yeah. we'll go out party in there, crash in the van or crash yeah. wherever. And then the next day we'll drive to High Wycombe, which I think yeah. is quite close anyway. Yeah. Um, spend the day around High Wycombe doing whatever, venturing out. I we, love it. We, we found a, we bought a football once and found this underpath and we were just playing FIFA Street just to kill the time because <laughs> that's what you do. Um, yeah, so you said you got like PR management, stuff like that. Yeah, so we have like a booking agent that will book the tours for us. That's and then, fucking cool. Yeah. 
That's fucking wild. Cool. Cool. I, I, I don't know anyone in the band. You're the first <laughs> one, bro. Like none of my mates are that cool. Like, I, do you know what I mean? Like, I just my mates are boring as fuck. It's, it's, like, it sounds glorious. Like, it sounds amazing. And don't get me wrong, it is incredible. Especially if you like it. It's but your thing. it is hard work. Yeah, like, oh, I can imagine. I, me. I have horrendous stage nerves. Really? Like, I I hate playing shows. The no, irony of being right. in a band, I hate playing shows. I don't go and watch people live in bands because it, it makes me like anxious as hell. But yeah, like I, for example, I played London, the old bell or something literally yeah. last Saturday yeah. and uh, I spilled my drink on me because I was shaking. Like, no. I was trying to pick my drink up to drink like mid set and I was shaking that And back. you sing? Yeah. And I, I'm, the, I'm the front man as well. Fucking so hell. So I sing and play guitar. Yeah. Mate, I, I do get what you mean because so I did, a, I did a drama degree and cool. like I, I kind of, I, I would get those nerves, but like once I'm on, I'm on mate. Like, yeah. do you get that as well? Are you just nervous Sometimes, the whole time? yeah, I'm like nervous the whole time, like Fuck quite bad. That. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's so like, crazy. The, oh, the closest thing I do to like being on stage in front of anyone now is the, is like the fucking little speech at the end of Broke Was at the Farm. Yeah. And I, I basically, uh, Broke Was at the Farm for the last two years. Like I'm, I'm no, I don't even feel I get nervous. Like, I just kind of get that kind of like, oh, like I'm going on. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's my time. Yeah, I get the kind of like, oh, here it goes. Like, and yeah. then like the minute I'm talking, mate, it's just it just comes out. You can, I guess you can kind of tell I'm nervous in a sense because I do. I I swear a lot. Like I swear too much. Anyway. <laughs> and like there's kids in the audience, and everything. I just don't care. I'm like, this is. I've got to get it out. Um, so yeah, I do. I'm all right with that. Um, the only time, the most recent time that I have been nervous, which is really odd. It's like I get more nervous with age. Do you find that? Yeah. Or is that just me? No, I think yeah. There's certain things. When like, I was younger, I didn't give a shit. Now, yeah. like growing up, you think about it more. I feel like yeah. No, you definitely overthink. You just like should I do that or don't yeah. Know about that. No. I um, oh, what did the arena? Bro, was it yeah. the arena this year? Um, I was standing near uh, our little pop up shop. Yeah. And um, someone said something to me. And I turned around to her. I said, oh, I really don't want to do this. Like, I really don't want to go off the stage and talk. Like, and, and I did. <laughs> but I, to be fair to you, I think it was because. Uh, Five Lakes Resort, Colchester are wankers. Like, <laughs> uh, just thought I'd make sure I put that out there on blast. Uh, the fat prick Childs who runs it is a toss pot. Um, yeah, no, I, I yeah, and I think obviously dealing with arseholes all day has made me just not yeah. feel it. Um, but yeah, I yeah uh, yeah I fucking uh, it was. I don't know. I, I kind of I get past it. I, I would assume I, I assumed that kind of like everyone was like, yeah, fuck it. Like once, especially being in a band. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's. Yeah, I just find it really hard. Really? Like, for, yeah. I'll I'll be like a nervous wreck before. Yeah. And then when we're playing, I'll be like, I'll enjoy it. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh no, oh no, like, <laughs> I've got to sing again. Oh no, I've no got way. I've got to open my mouth and I do this horrendous thing where I can play our set with our eyes closed and I yeah. know every word. I wrote it. I should know it. Yeah. The second it comes for me putting it out, like yeah. opening my mouth, I'm like, what's the word? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm awful. <laughs> That's crazy. Mate, funniest thing that I think we ever did, um, which which I ever did, sorry, was oh, basically, basically we used to have uh, a module in our drama degree, which was you would direct and you would have to like recruit the actors. The actors were your class members and yeah. they would be the ones that would act in your directed piece, right? You could take up the directing module. I, I did it and this girl did it. A good friend of mine at the time, like Polly her name was, right? So she stupidly, when I think about it now, I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> she picks a play, which is like all boys, right? And she picks like all the loudest, most stupid class idiots, which is including me. Like, and there's like five or six of us and we're all mates. Like we're the kind of boys that would like go out together, like have a drink together, and it'd just be stu- like it'd just be a stupid yeah. night. And she picks us lot, and I'm like, sick. We're all gonna be in a play together, <laughs> like because you, you never really, you never really got that opportunity, right? Yeah. And we had all rehearsed ish, like we'd all taken our lines, <laughs> right? And mate, it was so funny. Like we get, oh, it's horrible now thinking about. It. We get on stage, and like we're sitting there. I can't remember what it was about but we're all like office workers or something like that. And we're all sitting there and like someone delivers the first line and it's just like, that wasn't the line. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. And because they fucked the first one, nothing after that happened. <laughs> Mate, the girl, the funny thing was, it. This is this is just... Homage to I went to Canterbury Uni and the drama degree like the mod like the degree itself was bad like the lecturers were just terrible <laughs> like there's about two good lecturers and the rest were just making it up as they went along um, and this <laughs> Polly she gets a fucking first 
in the performance. But <laughs> no we way. did. But it's not. But you can't sit there and go, oh, it's because. Like the boys pulled it back, yeah. they smashed it. I don't know, we <laughs> fucked the lot. Like it was a fucking shit show. And yeah, she got a first. Like she got a, like if anyone doesn't know a first, is not been uni yet or doesn't go uni, that's the top grade. Like you can't get higher than that. She got a first for it. And, that's and it's not because of us. It's because I think they liked her. Do you know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> if you I face think, <laughs> I, yeah, I think they sat there and went, "Oh, the boys really fucked it for it. We gotta give her a first, mate." Like that was it. That wasn't her fault. That was theirs. Like, um, but yeah, mate. Like I, I do get what you mean. Like sometimes like we sat there the first line was delivered wrong and then like all my lines just went like i was just like raw okay um uh, we're making this up on the spot boys like so um no i did get you um something that i just mentioned then as well which i've got to say so rope was at the farm three we have camping <laughs> right now don't get me wrong like, everyone got fucked up right but um i am standing like out the back of the marquee where like the DJ is, the little party area is, the food is, and like there was like me and a couple of like the others that were like staff essentially. Do you know what I mean? Like close friends, family <laughs> staff. Yeah. We're all out the back of the marquee. And uh I get oh, fuck, I can't remember who it was. Someone rushed out. Oh my god, come and have a look at this, come and have a look at this. I'm like, okay. And it's like you, Miles and Liam. Miles is uh, not Miles, Liam's wearing his fucking Spider Man mask. <laughs> yep. You are bigging up the fucking party. And then like within about three minutes he's on a fucking chair, like a camp chair, and you're like throwing him above your head. Like what's it like when they like throw Greeks about, like yeah. a Greek party or whatever, like cut I was like, What is going on? But the video footage we got of it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a uh, that was an eventful night. Yeah. Yeah, that was a you great night. lot party hard. Yeah, we um, do. What's like your most memorable? Because you, Miles, and Liam crack me up, mate. Like when you're together <laughs> and when you're pissed, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, we're. What's handful. like your most <clears throat> memorable or stupid thing that you've sort of done together, other than dress up as Spider Man and party hard? Um, uh, oh god, that is a good question. What is the funniest thing we've done? To, if I'm honest with you, I think it was Broke Boys. Really? At the farm. So yes. When when we left. Um, that chair, so everyone was chanting who are chair in the air. Like that Were just they? became a chant. I like, missed that. Yeah, like everyone was just jumping around. We were, and then we put the chair in the middle of the floor and we was all dancing around the chair. Yeah, so you dancing around it. And then, <laughs> and then the chair got obliterated. And yeah, I actually broke my hand at that show. Did I you? don't know if you know that. Yeah, so I shattered all my hand because I fell in the tent. Like we, what? So Did we you were, actually? Yeah, so we were running from the DJ bit and our tent was smack bang in the middle and we were just running and dive bombing in our tent and I'd just fallen <laughs> on my hand and like I, I, there was like a Jaeger bottle <laughs> and all of this and I shattered, shattered the side of my no. hand. Oh, yeah. so you actually like, when did you go Did you go to hospital and get this? Like, oh, I didn't know. So I was just like, oh, my hand really yeah, hurt. Yeah, obviously not at the time. And Liam and that was just like, Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with your Drink hand. Ball, blah, blah, blah. Throwing bottles at me. Oh, punch this, punch this. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I broke literally like across the side of my hand there, like fractured. So what have you got? Did line. you go hospital like a couple yeah, of days? Yeah, I had an X-ray on it. Yeah. Well, I actually went about two weeks later because I was like, oh, it'd be fine. Shake it off. I was just yeah. drunk. And yeah, I'd fractured the side of my hand. No and had way. My, had my fingers all strapped this up. Is my the hand. Funny, like... <laughs> mate. I love it because I love the chaos that we bring. Because there was that, and then the other one was. Um, Eight eight P media. Have you ever seen? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, he shot our video with uh, um, Black Camera Media. Black Camera right? Media, Ben. Yeah. So uh, he came to um, the arena. I think it was the arena. Yeah. I'm sure it was the arena. Evil, evil way. One of them got absolutely. I'm sure it's the arena. Absolutely smashed. Run into a pole and knocked himself out. <laughs> knocked himself Amazing. flat out, mate. The fucking. He's got a scar on his head. I've scarred him for life. <laughs> like, I, I, so it, actually, no, I say I've scarred him. I don't take any fucking uh, responsibility for that. But yeah, he fucked up. Like, he like completely took himself out, knocked himself out. And uh, yeah, like, I think, I don't know if he went to hospital, but I think he, like, it was so deep, deepest, <laughs> the, the cut was so deep, should, like, he had stitches or something. Madness, isn't it? That's crazy. But yeah, the, the farm was like, when I, yeah. I saw you, like, in your true light. Because I, I saw, what was the fly kick thing as well? Was oh, that... I drop kicked Miles, didn't I? Fucking and then my brother, unreal. yeah. Yeah, that was a good drop kick. <laughs> I think I think I must, that was when I fell on my hand. It must have been. Yeah, I must have done it then. Fucking horrible. Because I was, I was chest high. <laughs> yeah. With both feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you yeah. did it, I was like, these boys are nuts. Like, what <laughs> yeah. on earth have I got myself into? Yeah. Um, it's such a shame because I'm trying to get camping for this year, but uh, I've changed venue and I. 
So I, I don't have it this oh, year. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't have it this year. Oh. So far. I'm trying to get like a farmer, like local, to like let me have his field and like let me do camping again or something. Oh, we need camping again. <laughs> oh, mate, literally. It was good. It was a yeah, lot, it it was was a lot really of fun. Good. Don't get me wrong. I don't, there was like people just being like, Romans, like that. So I got some complaints, but yeah, other than that, like it was, God dear. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't you. Luckily, yeah. like, there's three boys drop kicking each other. Can you fucking stop them, please? It's like one in the morning. Like we need to go just hurting each other. Yeah. <laughs> so, punch a Jaeger ball. <laughs> um, it's the same with at the arena, though. I ended up throwing that was party that, was that in yours? my room. Right, yeah. okay, let me explain. So I was so fucked off at the arena with the staff and the fucking way I was treated by the actual venue. Yeah. Um, I missed everything until the next day because I was too busy. Oh, I was too yeah. busy fucking dealing with shit at like one in the morning. Literally, I was oh, dealing with the reception. Yeah, the, the guy on reception, I wish I knew his name as well because he was a cock. Um, and yeah, he fucking, literally, mate, I was I was shouting in the middle of their reception while they had like people walking around. I was screwing. I called the geezer a cunt and everything. <laughs> yeah, like straight to his face in the front of, and Mike like was standing by me. He went silent. And then like I walked away. I slammed his door. I must have put a fucking hole in the wall. Like I slammed the door so fucking bad up against the wall. And Mike was walking by me. He's like, you are right, mate? I was just like, yeah, I'm fucking pissed at yourself, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen you that mad. And I was just oh. like, yeah, I'm pissed. But yeah, so I missed it all, right? Okay. So it's like, uh, what, was the, what was the fucking room number? So it's room 414. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, like, if I had known any of this, I would have mostly been there with yeah. you. But then the next day, it's just like, oh, the party at room 414. And I was like, oh, I was man. like, what? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? The party was massive. Like, Ollie jumped in the lake as well. <laughs> Ollie Goodwin, if you don't know him, yeah. check out Ollie Goodwin on Instagram. He'll mostly be jumping in some form of water. Yeah. Um, he necked, um, like, <laughs> half a bottle of... Uh, like rum out my kettle. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> then, um, uh, Emily went to make a cup of tea in the morning, boiled the kettle, and then was like, "Oh, it's rum." <laughs> 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 but yeah, there must have been. <clears throat> so we was in the little village bit, and amazing. So we had I, a I balcony stuck in the hotel. <clears throat> yeah. And did you get any complaints? Uh, I mean, security came and kicked everyone out, but oh, that was okay. about it. Okay. But he he was really nice. He was just like, come on, guys, go back to the main bit. Yeah. We were like, all right then. So we went into the main hotel bit and carried on. What the fuck? Where was you yeah. in the main hotel? Um, you know, as you went into like the main entrance bit, there was like a bar, bar. to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that everyone was there. And then Ollie like... was like diving over the tables, cuddling Nathan. And... Oh, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's when I've walked in because I've been dealing with all the shit. And I yeah, walk so in. That, that was just after everyone had got kicked out of the room. Oh, yeah. okay. Explains. So, explains yes, because we was all in the room and then people, I was just like, so everyone was there at the bar and I was just like, well, look, I'm going to go Asda and get some bottles and you guys yeah. can come to the room if you want. They were like, really? I was like, yeah, it's up to you. So I went to Asda and spent like 80 quid on like gin, vodka, um, rum, all of this stuff. And we just had it in the room. And then, yeah, everyone came back like Jamie, Katie, Ollie. Yeah. Uh, then Katie came, then more people came and then... Uh, Henners came. He was just like, oh, there's just me walks in with five people. Yeah, mate. I was just like, come on, boys, get um, in. Henry fucking, <clears throat> I've, there's videos of them getting into their room at the very beginning and drinking alcohol from anything. So like yeah. they were taking light fittings off the wall, <laughs> pouring booze off of the light fitting into their mouths. I'm like, you're disgusting. Yep. Like, it's like 20 years worth of dust where fucking, do you know what I mean? The little cleaner couldn't get into they it. Were, they were necking stuff in my shower. Like there was just <laughs> stuff in the shower, shower caps and all sorts. Fuck. Fucking disgusting. But yeah, there must have been thirty-five people in a room. In the room. In a in a, a what a double bedded yeah. hotel room. And <laughs> at one point there must have been about fifteen people on the balcony and I thought it was gonna fall off. Yeah. Like everyone was on this thin little balcony. I was like Imagine Like just don't die. <laughs> oh my god. Like, man. If if the balcony goes it will make a great video. I'm but... surprised like <laughs> neighbours were not screwing. Yeah, but I think there was a lot of people in the village that were in my room. <laughs> Well, yeah, because so, that's so that. Oh, long story short, mate, they messed up a load of my rooms. Another issue that I had, and oh, uh, yeah, no. they messed up a load of my rooms and had to put people there. Um, and they even rang some people that had booked hotel rooms because basically I booked out a certain amount for staff, right? Yeah. And then they basically turned around to me and said, "Like I hadn't." I was like, "No, no, I've got emails." So obviously, I've given them the emails. Long story short, I get my rooms. But what they actually did was they didn't ring and cancel people that booked for the weekend. They rung and cancelled specifically people that had booked for the show for the weekend. So I found out about a week later, two weeks later, that about three, four people had been called 
and said, oh yeah, just really sorry, we double booked. And they booked them into like Premier Inns down the road. Mate, that's how bad the hotel oh is. My God. That's how fucking bad the hotel. They were like, no, 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 you can't have your rooms for staff because we're fully booked. Uh, uh, I was like, uh, well, here's a good idea. Uh, I've just paid like over 15 grand for your venue. Uh, how about uh, you shut the fuck up and do what I say? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah, the high, so bad. Like, you've got people walking around with golf fucking bro. It's about everywhere. <laughs> Golf brollies, trolleys, the lot. They're wearing Rolexes and fucking posh suits for the weekend. Yeah. They've booked you out and they pay you fucking 50 quid a month to play golf. I was like, fuck off. I've just paid more than them. I said, I'm the geese that's walking around in a snapback. I was like, I look like the most UT thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I was like, but I was like, you listen to me this weekend. No one else. And yeah, no, they, they, they still, I didn't know. Because they said they would, okay, we're going to have to ring people. And I said, and cancel. I said, I, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I couldn't give a shit. Like, I have to have my staff here. Yeah. I said, because without my staff, the show doesn't go on. I was like, so fix it. Like, okay, okay, okay. And they, they rung people that were, and then they ended up throwing a load of news lot into wow, the uh, so uh, village. Bad. Well, when I, when I was walking <laughs> to the show in the morning, um, there was people turning up to play golf. Yeah. And there was just a guy stood out there saying, sorry, guys, no golf today. I was just like, oh no, no golf on. No go yeah, because obviously you there, had part. Well, there you was had the two. first hole, weren't you? So this is the thing. <clears throat> so there was two. Uh, there's two courses. Golf oh, courses. okay. There's one at the front of the hotel, one at the back. We had taken the one at the front because yeah. we took like hole one and hole eighteen, yeah. so they couldn't play, right? So they could go on the other one. And the day before, we had taken a section of the parking, all in the contract. Section of the parking yeah. being taken. I'm allowed a certain amount of spaces. And then obviously they just dug it on. They disputed this afterwards. This is my argument with them. And um, yeah, no, they, they had golfers throwing fences because they couldn't park in their regular places. Like one threw a fence at my mum. Yeah, mate. That's so bad. Yeah, mate. Literally. I'm telling you, literally, this is why, I, this is why for anyone that's listening, knows about Broke Boys at the Arena, like this is why Broke Boys at the Arena isn't happening this year. One, it was a lot of stress. Two, like it put me off running a second show. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and three, unfortunately, the venue was terrible, like uh, beyond terrible. Like I, I wish I could tell you the full truth about yeah. what they did to me. But yeah, so it's crazy, mad, isn't it? Other than that, it was a great show. I, but, uh, thank you. <laughs> it I was a really good show for a first time show. <laughs> I, I I met my numbers. I made my money back. Do you know what I mean, like yeah. I did everything I needed to do. Um, it was great potential, great place to grow. Uh, I obviously had the whole. Um, Oh, what's price category thing going on? Wanted yeah. to experiment with that on a smaller <laughs> event. I would have done it again. Like, do you know what I mean, like, yeah, I think it worked well. I think it was yeah. a good idea. I Every, thought it was a really good idea. Yeah, everything, fair. everything worked. Uh, there was a couple of things like uh, inside the venue. I had to move my food traders inside because of the weather. Yeah. The weather the day before was atrocious, and I then said to them, uh, "Vents up the top need to be open because I've got people cooking burgers in here and show cars." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And if you notice, if you actually walked into the venue, it's like at one point it was like smoggy. Yeah, I could see in some of my photos there's like <laughs> it's like hazy like yeah. thing at the and top. like the people around <clears throat> parked around the food vendors are like getting like greasy layers on their cars that they need to then go like clean the car properly after the show. They had to go like detail the car after the show. Yeah. They're getting like because the venue didn't put on their events. You can literally walk up to their fire exits and just open them. That's a vlog. <laughs> it's true though. Like that's the, because I had to <clears throat> their venue, the actual venue. If they ever have anyone like me have someone in there the night before, so like I set up on Saturday night. Yeah. All the expensive equipment, cars, uh, stock, traders, everything inside. Uh, but you can walk into the venue completely free of charge. Like you can just walk in. All their fire exits. I had to have them bolt together, like literally temporarily bolt to get the doors to close so that no one could just break in overnight because you can just walk into the venue that's not me telling you to go do it I'm not telling you I'm not enforcing yeah. it do you know what I mean I'm saying <laughs> same, if you yeah. ever fancy uh, do you know what I mean <laughs> just going and checking out on a Saturday night what's in there for the Sunday you can just walk through their fire exits from the outside push them they bounce and then you can just grab the door and open it you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking stupid but yeah that's crazy so it was it? a wicked show and I'm glad you trashed their hotel room um, I literally am couldn't give a fuck <laughs> How, so what was your missus so your hotel room I'm assuming is absolutely fucking trashed no it wasn't like, oh you should have <laughs> and, and, <laughs> why did you, know you smash what? it up Our, all those people in the room everyone was mega respective yeah like, respectful of yeah. it and that's what made the night really good because I would say about 10 of the people in my room I knew yeah the other 25 yeah I probably heard of on Instagram I knew who they were yeah, when yeah. they introduced themselves yeah Everyone was really respectful. That's sick. And that was, that for me 
was one of the greatest things. Yeah, like, you you are that guy where like after seeing you at the farm, I do turn around and go, yeah, if anyone's gonna host a party, it's got to be Jay Liam and, and Miles <laughs> and them, like and like that would be good. That would be fun. Oh, that's what I was gonna say earlier on, and I didn't say it. This is see, this is where I got fucking get my shit together. Um, <laughs> When I said, can I say about your YouTube channel? I said, can oh, yeah. I say Because you're thinking of doing videos which are... Uh, I- explain it, because I-, I think you're going to explain it way yeah, better cool. than me. So, I- <clears throat> so when I started my YouTube channel, so originally I actually already had a YouTube channel that I didn't know I had. Um, <laughs> and I had about 50 subs on it. And I was just like, oh, okay, How? cool. I would put like videos out, but yeah. from like when I-, I used to use Vimeo instead of YouTube. E- everyone did. Though. And uh, I think it was just it was better copyright quality. or something. I like, think you v- could have- Vimeo as well, you could do like you could upload like way better quality videos oh, okay. higher res stuff like that oh cool um so yeah i i i had that and uh i was just like oh okay i put these up but i couldn't for some reason i couldn't remember what happened but i couldn't like use that channel anymore so i yeah. just sort of got rid of it and started a new one and uh i wanted to do i wanted to like with my channel because <clears throat> there was i wanted to make a channel and i wanted to vlog because yeah. it was like something that i promised myself like yeah. i'm always behind the camera like make some yeah. cool content like behind the scenes and stuff and i watch um pete mckinnon loads of his vlogs oh pete mckinnon yeah yeah okay. incredible yeah yeah, like, yeah he's sick his, his stuff's uh phenomenal. yeah he's, he's majority of his stuff's like uh like it's camera based reviews and then like yeah. him actually making little mini movies stuff like yeah. that. and yeah. I, I just i just love that style and that was just like yeah. you know what? i i could do something like this there's a yeah. lot of things that i do in day-to-day life that i can sort of people might find interesting yeah um, that i take for granted and uh, I was a bit like, oh, how do I go about the channel? Do I focus it on one thing? Do I just do whatever becomes available to me? Like, mm. And then I was just like, okay, so I wanted to just do my vlogs, my daily vlogs of whatever I do. But then I also wanted to do like a, like a, not not so much a documentary. but, but Documentary style. Sort yeah, of where I take someone that I personally think has like a, a, a talent or have yeah. achieved something really good and just like zone in on it and show like, how they do it and why they do it and yeah. like expose them yeah for for the credit that they should get yeah. if i can if i'm able to do that if that makes sense yeah yeah so um you're gonna basically have them like to kind of summarize it have them sit down and explain their life you yeah. you said to me um a couple of cool people dan aspire that's his yeah. actual instagram isn't it? dan yeah. underscore aspire dan underscore aspire yeah um <clears throat> which is um, a wicked one. I don't know if can you say. Like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah he okay, mind. yeah. So, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Yeah. So, um, so my friend Dan and I should imagine most people would have seen his photos yeah. or he's a phenomenal photographer. Um, so he has a muscular dystrophy, which basically, if you imagine everything that you do and you take for granted, like lifting food to your mouth, um, yeah, walking around a shopping centre, um, it basically just means that he's not actually able to do that as well as yeah. he used to do. Now, Dan is a phenomenal drummer as well oh, like really? a phenomenal Fuck, drummer so um and things like that that he tends to struggle with now um so i i wanted to film him and get him to talk about it and how because something like that is obviously do you know what i mean it's one of yeah. those things where you, if you can go from doing all of this and then you tend to struggle doing it yeah you want to do you know what i mean so i want to showcase how incredible his photos still are yeah yeah, he deals with that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just, I just think it's a good platform. Like, if I can give that platform, yeah, for people to explain their like extraordinary stories, and show the incredible talents that they still have, and they they don't let it beat them. Yeah. The sense. other one that you said about, I don't know, if, I don't know if this is me. This isn't me like exposing all of your future plans, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay, because cool. the other one I thought was fucking cool. Um, is so, it your cousin's friend or something? So my uh, my girlfriend, her oh, um, her cousin. There you go. Um, she um I, I don't know the full extent to the um don't know the technical uh, the, explanation. Yeah, the technical thing um however she does have a, a tube um, and it's to do with something with her stomach and yeah. she's a incredible cook yeah. like she's been I'm, I'm sure it's not not master chef or british bake i don't know which one it is but it's like right. a bbc yeah, show I'm not a um i'm not a and cook guy yeah she she makes all these incredible foods yeah and uh, she's trained to be a nurse and stuff like that and again that's like something that she has to deal with every day where yeah. she can't always eat the stuff or so I don't know the yeah. full technical like story behind it but she makes these incredible foods I feel like because <laughs> obviously these people are like inspiring people like people yeah. that have got kind of that are doing cool things 
and and getting around like the shit that life has given them. Yeah. You fucking asked me to do. I, I do want to ask you. <laughs> I do because Wait, I've got like, like, <laughs> touch like fuck me touch wood based on the two people you told me so far. Good God, like oh man, bless them. But, but then, but I don't want it to always be about that no, kind I of understand. stuff. If that makes sense, yeah. and I think like for yourself, for me, going back to when I think what did we say 2015? I think yeah, it was correct, yeah. when I was. Going for, I had this thing where I didn't want a sticker that anyone else had their car when I first got my yeah. car. And I'd oh, be what like, are you trying to say? No, 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 no. <laughs> hear, hear me out. Hear me okay, out. Right, so I used to search Big Cartel because oh, that, big big is cartel. That how you found me? Yeah, so I would literally search Big Cartel and I would put in like car, modify car, whatever. That's like, sick. and I would just go through and find these like brands that yeah. I'd never heard of. I used to do it with uh, and, like uh, there was like skateboarding and streetwear stuff. Yeah. I used to do that. Carry massively on. with clothing brands on Big Cartel and I'd yeah. be like oh that hoodie's so sick Yeah, and I'd, I'd just buy their stuff yeah. and then I'd just follow it like yeah. and then and I remember buying <clears throat> buying the sticker but I didn't have you on Instagram or anything like I didn't even know That's really crazy. I never what Instagram that. was. I, and I, then, I didn't know it was that yeah. way around. I, d- I did not have a clue. Yeah I just found your Big Cartel shop and then just seen it and then bought oh, a couple of stickers. Fuck, that's so much better. Now. Yeah. And then then seen Facebook and then Instagram and yeah. then literally for years just followed you on Instagram. Yeah, that's sick because obviously, <clears throat> so you were like, so we started in 2014 in like October, November. So like, can you count it? Like most probably not if you want to like, do you know what I mean? Like two months. And it, yeah. I don't think we sold anything until from memory, like February 2015. Um, and that was when people had like gone, oh, he's like, give me like, produce a sticker like that sort of thing yeah um so like you are a day one like sort of <laughs> guy um and day one like i said bearing in mind i do the opposite now um just because of the way things have gone but day one was uh very much like oh i don't want to put my face on it like let's just not put a face to it like we're just broke boys like yeah i mean let's just do what we do kind of thing and and go from there so mate like that's it because i wasn't it was i scrolling back through orders or something did I screenshot it to you or how no I, I found it. it to me yeah because it was on my Instagram and I was just like whoa and then I found it and sent it to you and you was like whoa and then you said that you kept a log because so you looked through and you found the date of when it was that I actually yeah. purchased the sticker fucking yeah. crazy isn't it's it? mad yeah because I can just look back at like <clears throat> emails and stuff and see, yeah. and see it all um, but yeah but yeah crazy I, I, but, that, but that's why I asked you because I thought like from that sort of story because like I remember like buying that sticker from your big cartel to yeah. now that's look at all the shows, sick. the arena show, the farm. Yeah, that's lot. sick. Well, look at you now, bruv. Like, <clears throat> this is the thing. So, like, when are you planning on getting this, like, first documentary-style one shot done? Like, when are you squeezing it in? So, I've, I've filmed part of it. Oh, so you, um, we've done? Yeah, so... Because oh, um, the way that I want to do it is <laughs> so that it's not just literally them sat there talking to a camera. Yeah. So, me and Dan shot... Um, we went out and Dan took some pictures of Danny's Mustang and I filmed... Uh, the Mustang as well yeah. but I also filmed Dan shooting the Mustang yeah. so I want to actually capture them doing what they do <clears throat> yeah. and showing the results of it whilst getting them to explain their story Yeah, amazing. which I think just makes it a bit more like interesting to watch and I think you understand it more then yeah. from that point of have view have you got an idea of dates and stuff when you want to get it done by? I've got, I've got nothing yeah no me and Dan yeah. need to sit down and uh, yeah, cool. do the talky bit first and then there, then, then um, what's the other thing I was going to say you currently, like you said, like literally you work fucking seven days a week yeah, because literally. you're shooting things like music videos on the weekend. Yeah. So these music videos are like for, ra- are they for like random people that approach you or you're approaching yeah. them? or how No, does, so um, a couple of weeks back, actually, no, I say a couple of weeks, it was actually December time last year, yeah. um, some guy from Coventry um, yeah. just dropped me a message on Instagram. Is this like the rapper looking? Yeah. Is, is um, that really I, bad? His of me name's Emco. Yeah, Emco. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I said it, yeah. <clears throat> um, he just dropped me a message. Hi, mate. Um, I'm wondering if you could do me a video. I was just Sick. like, yeah, sure. What do you want? He said, yeah. went to Coventry, spent the day with those boys, shisha bars, whatever, yeah. filmed this video, um, put that one out. And then another guy messaged me. Amazing. I've seen the video you've done. Amazing. Can I get a video? I was like, yeah, cool. Mate, because so. uh, we were saying this the other day and Dan said, uh, Killer Wipers, Dan, he turned around and said, like, he doesn't like the word, like, hustle because it's, it's a bit, like, overused and it sounds a bit cheesy, yeah. doesn't it? But, um everyone that I've had on so far is like hustling hard mate and like to be fair like I can see that obviously with you like you sound like you work all the time like I know that you're doing uh, 
your normal day to day nine to five thing and then yeah. I know that you're shooting videos and I know that you're shooting photos on the side and then you've got these other ideas and stuff that you want to do yeah. on your own channel as well and then you've yeah. got the band like do you know what I mean like, <laughs> it's where mad, the yeah. fuck is the time going <laughs> yeah. um, which is sick mate so yeah. fucking sick um, something that I've got to mention which I just I have to obviously <laughs> recently I, mate, I, I fucking appreciate it so much I have to fucking talk about it I um Obviously, put a picture. I fucking shaved my hair off, didn't I? Like, yes. I thought I've taken my hair yeah. off, like, but I've, it's so cold in here. Like, I'm refusing <laughs> to take it off. Um, yeah, and then you were like, "Bro, like you, you big dick energy to me, bro. Like you <laughs> fucking come at me." Like, um, and it's because it's nice to fucking know, because like you, un- like you kind of understand. I don't know if this is fucking like we can talk about this, but like, yeah, yeah, go do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's nice to understand yeah. someone else feels exactly the same fucking way as me. So yeah. like, I shaved my hair off because like. It's getting weak, man. Like, it was getting weak in places. Like, I had the high top. I grew a high top because I was losing my hair. I say losing my hair quite lightly because I, mine's not like I know that some people like really lose hair. Yeah. Um, but mine was getting like a little bit fair, like and stuff. Because I'm 26 years old. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not old, but like, this is like the time where boys lose hair, man. Yep. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like the same with mine. Like, <clears throat> mine's quite thin on the top, yeah. but it's weird because when I get my hair cut shorter, yeah. it looks longer. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't make no, any sense. No, 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 sense, it makes sense because but... I... <clears throat> so, obviously, uh, well, I had the high top and to anyone that didn't know, didn't notice, they were like, oh, it's just he's got a fucking high top done. But yeah. for me, it was like actually on the top, like the crown, like it was like light and the rest. I've got black hair, so like, it was like lighter than the rest and I was just like, looks a bit shit on the light. Like... And yeah. then, like, at the front, it would bug me. Like, if I combed my hair out and left it, I'd look like fucking a nutty professor. So, like, I'm combing it out, like, fucking packing it all in. And then, like, I'm, like, pulling the, the front, not forward, but, like, the corners of my hair, like, the, yeah. like, um, like, kind of forward at the sides and stuff. And it would look completely normal. But you would, like, this is a sign that you'd never fucking know. But you still feel, like, quite, like, conscious about like it shit don't you? about yeah. it bro like yeah. i have fucking felt like shit about it um but i obviously knew that i'd i'd had short hair before anyone that followed broke boys in the last three years only ever seen me with long hair before that broke was in chill like you go back watch some of the videos i got short yeah. hair like but now i look back i look back at those videos and i think to myself bro you was losing your hair there as well like do you know what i mean that that <laughs> yeah. was the beginning like um but I grew up because of that. But like the reason why I fucking love you, mate, is because obviously when you messaged me, you were like, "Bro, you look sick with short hair," and I was like, "Safe." Like because I didn't, I didn't really care. Like I, well, I said I didn't care. It took a lot. But when yeah. I actually shaved it off, I was like, "Oh my god, I look fine." Like I'm actually okay with it. <laughs> yeah. It was this big old yeah. thing. Like I'm gonna look like a fucking wrong and with a shaved head. <laughs> and like to be fair, like I kind of just don't. Like I kind of just look. Yeah. As, soon, as soon as you do it, you yeah. don't think about it. Yeah. Like I've, it's I shaved so my head. Sick quite a few times for charity and stuff like that like yeah. in the past couple of years yeah and everyone like i remember the, fir- the first time i shaved my head i went to casper's dessert yeah. place yeah and everyone stared at me not really? because they knew me i was wearing like a turtleneck yeah and uh they just looked at me like i was some sort of i don't know like what the fuck? yeah like thug like really? bronson or something yeah and it just they just looked like really intimidated by me i was just like oh i just shaved my yeah. head like <laughs> yeah that's the thing when you have it you think about it now i like don't get me wrong like people if someone said i kind of wish i had hair but like i'm kind of like do you know what i mean i wish i, I wish i had a fucking hair, get hair envy, of a god don't yeah you know? <laughs> like I, 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 you see I'm, a dude's I'm, hair and you're like man he's got good hair yeah <laughs> like I, I kind of look at that in one sense and i understand that but then i i also do sit there and like when when i basically the point i'm trying to make is when i had hair I say had hair, like I'm bald. I'm not bald. Like I've still got hair. Um, but like when I had thick hair, like it was like, I don't know, like it, it, when I saw it thinning, it was like, a th- I thought about every day, depressed the fuck out yeah. of me. Like I'd wake up in the morning, like be really upset about it. Like if a hat went on, it was staying on, it wasn't coming yeah. off like for the day, that sort of thing. Since I've like shaved my head to me, it's just like, I say shave my head, like it goes down to like stubble. So you can still see it. Like, yeah. and this is the thing, like I don't actually look like, bad with it at all like at all and i was just like well first of all i don't look bad with it second of all like i don't think about it anymore yeah like, it just is what it thing. is like yeah. it, there just seems to be this massive thing because obviously when you messaged me i was like finally someone fucking understands like, not finally someone understands but like oh fuck there's someone else that yeah. just gets it too and i don't know it's about hair loss um but you, you it's like this whole thing like if a guy is losing his hair it's like when he shaves it off it's okay to take the piss out of him yeah, because you were saying oh, about your, your mates yeah. fucking. Yeah. My mates you. always do it. 
Yeah. yeah. And as a bloke, it's like uh, you're a bloke. Take it. Yeah. Banner. Just brush it off. Banner, right? Yeah, is what it is. But when a girl says to me, like if a girl says, like girls do it too. I had like, I had like some people. So I, had, do you know what I did actually? Obviously I put the photo up on my Instagram. So I talked to myself, I'm going to show my face soon on Instagram. And someone's, you're going to notice. Like, I've not got hair. In, <laughs> yeah. like, I've, I've shaved my fucking yeah. hair off. Um, and now people aren't saying anything. So people are completely used to it. But at first, like, I had a couple of kids and they were like, uh, oh, bro, like, you look like an egg or something like that. Or like, oh, like, I can't remember. But they would say something. And I literally would be like, you're lucky that I've not shaved it off for a reason. You're yeah. lucky I shaved it off by choice, bro. Yeah. And they were like, oh, fuck, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's just like one of those things. Yeah. Like, Shut the fuck up, mate. Like, sorry, I, I forgot you had the fucking sound. The way that I choose to fucking make myself look. <laughs> to be fair, mate, like it's just so much easier. The high top was a fucking nightmare. Oh, mate, when you go in the shower, it's great. <laughs> yeah, you just shaved your head, and you like, Bang, oh done. man, I'm dry already. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, we, I'm talking about. Like, I'm saying shave my head like I'm literally fucking wet shaving, it, but I'm not. It's I'm not like, I, like I obviously this is for the people that are fuck like. There's no fucking difference, but. I don't luck. I'm lucky in one sense to not have to kind of do that yet. Yeah. Um. But at some point I will do. At some point I yeah. will be fucking bald, man. But like, um. But yeah, no. There was this like this whole thing about it. And obviously, like you supported it, and I was just like, oh, like it, mate. It felt so good. Cause <laughs> I, I just I don't know. Like when you were just messaging me, I was like, oh, thank you. Um. Because like I said, this whole thing about you can hit a guy and doesn't hurt his like doesn't hurt his feelings. Yeah. But for, actually fucking does, mate. Yeah, like, actually course, man. fucking does. Like it actually feels like shit. Because like, even though you play it off, I think you genuinely then yeah. you'd look in the mirror and be like, Oh, is it is yeah. it obvious? Is it yeah. can you see it? Madness, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah. Um but I had to fucking say that. I had to fucking bring that up because that's like if you if you wanna know like if you you guys wanna know like obviously like not our like relationship but like obviously like how how we do shit behind <laughs> yeah. the, the scenes, like like you're a like a fucking supportive mate. Like do you know what I mean? So okay. that's Same. why I fucking had you on as well, mate. Because I was just like, yeah, this is right, fucking it, sick. Um, what else was I gonna? Say? What else was I gonna say? I had something else on the top of my head just a minute ago. <laughs> I'm not used to this podcast. Though, <laughs> this is all new to me. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in full swing. <laughs> I'm only on the fourth one. Like, when I'm twenty deep, then fine. I was gonna say you'll get the swing of it and just be like, oh yes, yeah, so I've got this, got this. Yeah, I'm making sure I fucking covered everything with you, mate. Um, are you at UD? <clears throat> I don't know. R- or why? I don't know. So Can I ask why? Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, <clears throat> I this year, I was trying to not go to every single show. Yeah. Um, I think, I might get a bit of hate for saying this. Um, Uh-oh. Controversy. So, for me, there's, there's something about, like, last year, I hit every single show I possibly could. Yeah. Every single show. I took pictures at every single show. Yeah didn't always enjoy it yeah because i was working the shows like in in my like yeah. eyes i was working the show I understand. and then this year i'm a bit like well i don't necessarily need to go to a show to take pictures like and there's this whole stigma that oh bro do you want to shoot my car yeah yeah, yeah of course mate like oh i'm at that show okay well i'm there too but it doesn't mean yeah. that my time and is free just because we're in the same space yeah kind of thing. i understand um, so yeah, I'm, if I do go to shows this year, I'm probably not going to take my camera. Oh really? Yeah. So that's I, like a I, conscious decision that you, yeah, decision just, you've made. I'll, I'll probably vlog the shows, but I won't yeah. be like, I think you should running around taking pictures of every single car at every single show unless yeah. I'm covering the show. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, cause I think that just gives it a bit more like value. As well, I think if that makes sense. To us me. vlogging, us vlogging shows was a was a wicked one. They really like put us on the map for a lot of people. Yeah. Not like for all of our audience, but for a large amount. Yeah. Um, so that was really good. Um, I enjoyed vlogging the shows. Um, it was hard because I was I was working too. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I understand. But if you're able to do that, do it. Um, because I think uh, there it, there is a gap for it. I guess a little bit because. We used to vlog the shows, and I think the reason why we don't have a big subscriber base, like we, we really don't, but like the reason why the two thousand people that are subbed to us now, like watch those videos, is or uh, the, the first thousand they watch those videos because there wasn't there was other people doing it, but like not really doing it from our perspective. Yeah. Um. So like we'd be in the show early, we'd set up the stand, you know I mean? all this yeah. stuff like people wouldn't really see. Yeah. Um. So I think that was really that was really good, and there are people that go and vlog shows now, but like. I think they kind of do, yeah. yeah. Like, in all honesty, like, there's a couple of people out there that like vlog going to the shows, but it's it's from. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's from the. Mm, it's yeah. like it's okay. They've got subscribers. People yeah, of like course, it. Yeah. I mean, as in, I just don't know if it's from a perspective uh, that I think is missing. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, of course. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think you should definitely fucking do that, mate. Um, but Alt McDubs, you're not. You. I'm, I'm just. It. I'm just undecided. Yeah. I was just like, I don't, I don't know whether I will or whether I won't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just a bit undecided. I, I probably will go because I'll yeah, be yeah. like, oh, it's a Sunday. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go. I think that's what but, everyone gets to. Yeah. How far is it from you? Hour and forty-five. Ah, that's all right. So it's not. It's not horrendous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but because um, when obviously we drove in today, I, for some reason I'm driving up that lane. I'm thinking to myself, "Fuck, what car's he got?" Like, <laughs> it's got a Scirocco. I literally it passed through my head. Then the minute I, I saw the like the E46, I was like, oh, yeah. an "Idiot!" Like, how did you not? Do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got the E46 now. Um, so, but I won't. I won't build that. Or like, I'm, not get... gonna, I'm not going to bag it or anything like I was, that. I was so, going to say, yeah. do you have any plans for the car? Or is it literally... No, nah, like... like, if I drive to work, I do like an 80-mile round trip to go to work. Yeah. So it's not something... I want to get something a bit newer, a bit more reliable, yeah. and then I'll just keep that as my summer car. Like, yeah, chill. the car that you take to... Uh... Oh, what was it? Is it like addition or something? <laughs> yeah. Where all the photos were, and you were just driving <laughs> yeah, through... all of us. <laughs> had Ali 80, in the back. <laughs> yeah, 80 people in the fucking car. That, there's like a picture That was the from... week I bought that car. <clears throat> oh, my God, mate. <laughs> One lady owner. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm the second owner of that car. Full service history. Original receipt from BMW. Amazing. Well. How many um, miles has it got? Uh, it's just at 100k. Oh, wow. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, fair enough. Mate, it's the same as that Rover. That Rover's uh, one owner from there. He was an executive at Rover, so he got given it as a present. Yeah. Oh, and I'm wow. the second owner, yeah. That's 57,000 miles. 58 That's insane. Now. Yeah, sick of it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, cool. sa- same shit, man. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Um, but, yeah, no, that's what, that was going to be my next question. Is there any plans for it? But I guess I do mm. get I do get where you're coming from. I think I think as well, like, <clears throat> I was, I was, who was I talking to about this the other day? But I was saying, like, it's so hard for me to build a car Around all the other shit. You around do. everything else. <laughs> like, my money goes towards the band. Like, loads of money goes towards the band. But yeah. also my cameras and stuff. And you know how it is. You yeah, can't, like, yeah. People think, I think people think cameras are the same price as a mobile phone. Like, yeah. they are not. No, not <laughs> they are so. not at all. Yeah. So, no, I, I, well, to be fair to you, I think my phone was worth more than something. Like, <laughs> but even so, it's because I'm cheap. Like, <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. I was looking at cameras the other day, like camcorders. And they were like... Uh, I think I saw I wanted like 200 quid I was like right that's the budget I saw one for 250 I was like no nah, too expensive too expensive shot 4k though so I was like yeah sick um, but yeah mate no uh, cool uh, I hope to see obviously a lot more of you this season I definitely yeah. definitely will do obviously you'll be around yeah, for me specifically definitely. but for yeah. everybody else mate, uh, even though you're not I think you'll get there and take photos of the cars mate I think do you know what you do I well actually will. before we fucking go Rollers. I've seen your rollers. I love your fucking roller shots, mate. I, I, yeah, I, I love taking a roller shot. You need to, that's what you need to do. Take the camera, leave it in the car for the show, but just get <laughs> but rollers. just get rollers. On yeah. the way there, just bang out some rollers. Roof down in the summer. Roof down, yeah. Get someone to just <laughs> hold the steering wheel. Drive my car. Yeah, always get someone to drive the car. <laughs> climb out the back. I'm literally <laughs> telling you to do some dodgy shit <laughs> on the M25, like holding up traffic, <laughs> yeah. convertible. No, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You should definitely shoot. No, I, I do. I, that, that to me is probably one of my favourite bits of going to a show. The, yeah, the catching cruise, the yeah, rollers yeah. before and after. Yeah, like there was a point. Uh, I think it was after Culture Shock. Maybe I don't know. It was after like a few years ago, and I don't know how the fuck it happened. Obviously, I'm always in the van, so I don't get to enjoy <laughs> looking cool. Um, but like we hit a stint of about ten miles, and within that ten miles, like everyone came together <laughs> i don't know how it's mad. it was like people coming off of slip rows and just joining <laughs> and then like people catching up and like then the big crowd like catching up another group and there must have been about 30 40 modified cars all rolling together there's like me in the van like just loving it <laughs> every now and then like some of them would like just drop a gear put their foot down i was like you fuck it i'm it. doing it so i'd like do it too like you've got kids like leaning out of driver's side windows while like someone leans over like steers for them <laughs> yeah. and they're like taking roller shots out the back it was so dangerous but yeah. so sick um and that yeah that was cool as fuck so that's why i'm hoping to get that rover done get them yeah. get the rover done then i'll get someone else to drive the van we'll I'll get go, please rollers. drive the van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah mate we should shoot rollers <laughs> yeah <okay>. yeah <laughs> sick all right cool mate i appreciate it thank you for coming on um i hope that's we covered right. everything uh go check out uh, j.bass then your um it, your youtube's the same right uh yeah i think so yeah i think, I think so, so yeah i'll put it in the i'll yeah. put it in bios and descriptions <laughs> and stuff anyway still getting used to it yeah no that's cool um your 
videos will be dropping on there and then do you drop your band stuff on there as well yeah, you're the vlogs it, yeah. but do you like actual music videos um, what's your... yeah I will be uploading them like in between vlogs and okay, stuff like that okay have you got that, another so... YouTube channel for your, um, for your band they just get put on like a music channel which is called Dreambound so it's a bit like a okay. Kerrang music channel kind of thing oh, so, oh but, Kerrang yeah. What a throwback. Not, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> Not as big as that, but that, yeah, kind, of, that kind of vibe, yeah. And then uh, with uh, Motec, all their stuff is? Uh, Instagram and Facebook and yeah. stuff. Motec Performance they got UK. You, they got you, they got and YouTube, YouTube well. yeah. Again, Motec Performance Okay, I'm just literally UK. throwing people <laughs> so they can go check out your work, mate. Yeah. So, no, thank mate, you. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much, mate. Thanks for having me, man. Cool.